We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. This month, Jewelry Maker is going to be moving to a new channel on Freeview. Stay tuned to find out our new channel number, which we'll be revealing very soon. The burning heart of Oregon is now available to you in this stunning new collection. American Fire Opal, the finest discovery. Good morning and welcome to Jewelry Maker. How are you? I'm Ali Defoy. It's wonderful to see you. I have lots and lots of very, very special treats today. If you've already looked on Facebook, you will know. If not, try and have a look at my Facebook page. Go now, facebook.com forward slash Ali Defoy or GM Producer Kim and you will get a little glimpse of what's about to come. I will show you though, don't worry. But straight away, I'm going to show you our Sarah. It's been far too long since I've had the wonderful chance to work with our Sarah Elvin uh, and she's with me today. It's so good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And with a new haircut and toe as yes, well. Yes. Well, like, new to us. It's been yeah, a week for you. It has. It's a bit shorter than I was expecting, but I'm, oh, I'm, I'm enjoying it though. Are you? <laughs> yes. Is it, is it quicker to do in the morning? Oh, so quick. And I keep forgetting and putting too much shampoo in. Oh, oh yeah, gosh, I've never thought about that. I need yeah. like half a, half a tub. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely to have you. Sarah has been working with lots of different kits for us today. So um, she's going to absolutely blow you away with some of the treats she's been making. Straight away, I'm going to show you what our early bird is. So if you've had a look at Facebook or Twitter, you'll have already seen this. Completely natural. I'm just going to show it to you now. It's a brand new treat. Totally natural. Turquoise turquoise nuggets how long have we been waiting for something like this last time i had turquoise on for you i believe it was it was in drops gosh the faceted drops couldn't believe my luck they were price point came in at 140 pounds they came in at i'm going to be able to take this for a little bit less with 550 what do you reckon i could do for your price well as I say if you've had a wee look on Facebook or Twitter already you already know that but don't worry you're not missing out do much um, I'll fill you in faceted cabochon rubies Have those three words ever, ever been in the same sentence first spotlight deal of the morning have a looky looky here you have Alison Tarry I'm glad she brought them back actually we were filming um, part one of Alison Tarry's uh, Aries DVD well not Aries Zodiac sign DVD should I have told you that well, it's happening. Um, so we were filming that this morning, and Alison came in and she said, "Oh, Ali, can I just uh, bada, 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 bada bing borrow these?" So they disappeared, but I did count them, and they are all back. Oh. We were bringing this to you around twenty past nine, not long, but twenty minutes time. Um, well, maybe even fifteen minutes time at this rate. Vesuvianite is coming up at midday today. Oh my goodness gracious me, you are going to love it. Have a looky looky here. What a quality, what a colour, what a dream. I'll tell you about it if you don't know much about it, do not worry, but it's a gemstone you might have heard possibly called Idacrease. Maybe you've heard it as Idacrease. It is Vesuvianite, it's coming up for us and it will be around midday as my presenter pick for you. You are going to love it. Now, it is Thursday, um, so we're going to do a little bit of a frenzy on Thursday for you. Myself and producer Kim is looking after us here in the studio, and I have got a wonderful, wonderful team with me as well. Um, it's time. There are only 550. Now, that might sound like a lot, but it is really not. As your early bird, I warned everybody about it on Facebook last night, and I warned everybody about it this morning. So join me, 0800-644-655 or jillamaker.com it is your early bird and you got four of them because it's a massive deal totally natural 75 carats of turquoise it's going under 
10 pounds, Sarah Elvin. <gasps> 10 pounds for turquoise. Wow. Serious? That's amazing. Loving it. Crazy. Amazing. Amazing. It. Love it. And match your outfit perfectly. It would. And definitely you need it for summer. Need. And I love using it all the way through winter as well because it just adds that little pop of beautiful tones and colours into sort of what can be quite a drab period in your wardrobe so Absolutely. And I mix it with all my brown tones then in winter and, and you beautiful. do that as well because it's December's birthstone don't you yes that's one of the main reasons you go for it my <laughs> call screen is mob with web bids uh, but join me on the phone lines it's free 0800 644 655 on a landline it's totally free um, and for many mobile providers as well if you've had a wee message over the, the past few days or speak to your mobile providers if you can because now I believe to many it's 0800 it's totally free um, on the website we have no tilted and natural turquoise everything sold out we have had the odd reconstituted turquoise piece sorry my hair is in my face today I can't see um, forgive me it is amazing oh my gosh you've got some pyrite in there as well have a look at that totally natural what a treat this is gorgeous now it was just the other day actually i was having a, a look and i was sort of just doing a wee read up on turquoise um, and it was really really interested to to find out that when you get sort of um, more of the different tones of pyrite in there that's something that's absolutely loved when you're buying it sort of from american um sort of connoisseurs american connoisseurs like to look for that sort of pyrite within it the whites the browns the red lines the markings and the sort of webs that they call them but this has got this is actually loved by our american counterparts they adore the pyrite like, can you see those pyrites in there it's the first time i've ever really seen pyrite in the um, natural turquoise this is phenomenal oh can you see those wee flecks of pyrite coming through now that's never ever been something I've had the luxury of presenting before uh, until doing a lot of research many years ago I wasn't even aware that turquoise had pyrite in it when I was a little girl I just thought turquoise was was turquoise and, and that's what it was that the color that you get from it can be from the colors of copper and when you get more of a green it can be due to the colors and the presence of iron and um, Fleur a regular um, uh, here in Jewelry Maker is our guest designer she was on filming a DVD with me yesterday morning actually you didn't get to see that but you will in, in good time it was brilliant actually chain meal pendants anyway good morning lovely ladies woohoo I got three strands I cannot wait to make something with them and that's my very, very own Fleur I don't know if she'll make something for you but now you've pointed out producer Kim maybe Fleur will make something for you I can't just add it. I love you, Fleur, at the end. I'm supposed to say that first, Kimbo. Um, lovely to see you all. Good morning to every single one of you. That's without your price on, but you know it's under £10. A gemstone since, what, 5,600 BC. This is a gem that used to be used and worn by the Egyptians. You have a gemstone that's got so much history about it. There's so many different sort of varieties, but it's one of the only gemstones... Well, it's the only gemstone in the Bristol calendar that's named after its actual colour, turquoise. Um, enjoy it. It's the only... Well, it's two gemstones in the Bristol calendar that are opaque and the, the other is your pearls. It's the only one. Um, grab it while you can. The price point is coming in with so many multi-bids already. You'll be surprised to learn that this 26 centimetre natural only turquoise that we have in the building that's natural for jewellery maker is for £7.95 pence as your early bird. I didn't just bring it as a little treat. I brought it as a welcome to us here in jewellery maker. If you're new to us, if you want to try us out, it's a perfect, perfect gemstone. So it comes from the turquoise family. It's a triclinic crystal structure. Um, you may wish to know that. You may not. Fleur's message in to say she'll make you something. Kimbo! We'll make you something, Kim. Keep these amazing prices coming. Oh, yes. If you keep them coming, then Fleur will do that. Oh, yeah. It's Thursday frenzy. It's got to be. And bear in mind, Kimbo is off on Monday and Tuesday. She's off all weekend as well. But she's off on Monday, Tuesday. Thank you, Fleur, from her, um, from her Kimbo. Kim, producer Kim, is off on Monday and Tuesday, as well as the weekend. So that's five days off plus Wednesday, Thursday, so she's not back with us till next Friday, so she's doing all her price crashes in one day, yesterday, and well two days, yesterday and today, she's going to town, oh Ali just turned on for a quick peek and I bought four, it's lovely, oh Alex, lovely to see you, so great to have your company today, I have rubies that are fasted, perfect for cabochon wrapping or prong setting, brilliant, or chain mail setting, there's so many ways you could use them, I've got chrysocolla on today as well, which is an amazing treat, which would go beautifully with your turquoise actually if you've never seen chrysocolla before here's a little glimpse it's not too dissimilar to what you might love about turquoise to be fair it's more of a green variety but that's coming up for you so at this price point these will more than likely all sell out lots and lots coming up for you today 
perfect, perfect match. I mean, pearls, for example, there's, there's a perfect match made in heaven. Job diddly done. Love it. Um, try and get your turquoise as soon as you can. The code on it has just slipped off the screen. But it's SHRU16. SHRU16. Get your, it's a really long strand. I can't believe the gorgeous primary is in there. Sorry, I'll leave that in there. Right. Um, I'll leave that at the bottom of the screen for your turquoise. Right now I'm going to do some rainbow Eslon thread. Um, oh, and it truly is. Reds, yellows, greens, blues, pinks and purples. Red. I always got the rhyme wrong as a child. So 70 metres in each. Oh, oh, a tail of fib. Mustard orchid are 70 metres. Here's your mustard. I presume that'll be your orchid. 70 metres in these two. Blue is 32. Green is 32. Oh, purple, that must be orchid then. Um, purple is 32. And Shanghai red is 32. So you must in your orchid. That'll be your orchid, forgive me. I went for the, the lilac purple. I'm wrong. Um, there's your orchid. There's your mustard. 70 metres in each of those. They're 0.4 mil. And these are all coming in at 0.9 mil. Shanghai red, I like saying that, Shanghai. Red, um, purple, greens, and your blues. Now, brilliant for your um, for your pearls, especially with the 0.4, I was using it just the other day. It's super. Many of you, ooh, I like that. Oh, like, can you do that again? I've got more baskets than I have stock. We'll need to be quick. I love the way that happened there with the reds and the, oh, I loved it, Tom. Yeah, oh, look at that. 12 pounds and 95 pence. And you'll be wondering how I can see it behind me. But I get a reflection of what you get. Oh, there it is. I get a reflection of what you see. I love it. 12 pounds and 95 pence. So colorful for a Monday. Oh, no, it's not Monday. What day is it? Thursday. Yay. Thursday morning. I love it. Matching the portfolio bag. How about yes? How about, yes, looky looky here, what do you reckon? ROGC72 is for your cords. Limited stop for the portfolio bag. Here it is here. Fold over bag, portfolio bag, which um, I believe may even be the first time I've seen this fold over one. Oh no, I have seen it, but it's bigger than the one I brought before. Plenty of compartments for you. Let me just put those away for you. Oops, there is a flying blue S long cord. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Match your outfit today, actually, Sarah. So with the purple and the yellow. I know. And the green. It's great outfit, this. It matches so many different things. It's wonderful. In fact, this would be perfect for you right now. Yes. Um, this is your portfolio bag. So you've got plenty of compartments. Not only have you got the ones that are sort of situated to the, the inside, but you've actually got fold over ones as well. They've all got zips on them, they're all see through as you can see. These ones, well, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six compartments. This one has four, this one has four, and these are two big ones. So one in one compartment each. You've got all the sections here. One, two, three sections on here, and then a further. Ooh, these are doubles. Have a looky looky here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six sections in there. So plenty, you could use uh, the one zip covers the two sections if that makes sense. Um, are you ready to join us? With limited, limited stock on this, imagine just turning up to somebody, oh yes, oh yes, let me just get my, oh, let's get my portfolio back here. Yeah, sure, let's have a wee look here. Oh, oh, is it the garnets you're looking for? Yep, yep, I've got the garnets on the first page because that's January's first one. Let's have a look here, it's January's first one. Oh, you fancy some amethyst, oh, it's February's, so I'll have some in that one. Oh, no, you prefer April's, diamonds, oh yes, okay. Oh, yes, no, no, I do have diamonds, yes. I've got diamonds in my jewellery, hand-making jewellery collection. Wow. Oh, what, maize, birthstone, emeralds? Uh, yes, I've got some emeralds left. Love it. Love it or love it. What do you reckon? £7.95. That's it. To look professional, 
to keep your gemstones, whether it be your gemstones or your findings, you can have one for findings yeah. and one for gemstones. I'm just thinking they're great if you if you are going somewhere and you're selling your jewellery, whether it be a jewellery party or whether it be a store, to have maybe your spare change in there, your business cards, maybe a little notebook and pencil, have all of those things that you, you're going to need to take with you, but all organised beautifully so you know exactly where they all are. Yeah, so every time you go, you don't need yeah. to pack it each time and yeah. time again, just take it with you, it's already ready, yeah. and if you run out of your cards, you can always top it up when you get back, yeah. but you can be nice and organised. So one part of our, our jewellery making lives that will probably be organised, the rest <laughs> is a bit of chaos, but, but that one part we can have organised when we go. Um, I've got a wee message from Wendy, Wins, Jens, hi Wendy, uh, morning Ali and Sarah, looking forward to today's show, already got the s -Lon and turquoise, hugs to all on today's show, and that's two kisses from, oh three kisses! Three kisses from Wendy. We love it, Wendy. Thank you very much. I'm really, really pleased for you. ZJ, or you may say J, ZX, and that's 69 is the code on that for only 7.95. Do you know, right, you're going to hate me for saying it, but I'm going to say it. I know hate's a strong word. It's bordering with love, so it's all right. Um, Christmas. You know somebody who jewellery makes. Maybe your wife, maybe your partner, maybe your friend, maybe your daughter, your cousin, somebody, your next door neighbour, and you think, oh gosh, I'll maybe get them a wee something for Christmas. For seven ninety five, do you know a crafter who wouldn't want love one of these? Exactly, Julianne Maker. We need them. There's your your um, board at uh, your board. There's your uh, portfolio bank. I'm just going to jump over to Sarah. Oh, I've got heels on today, Amelia. So I'm a little bit taller than I am sitting down. <laughs> Normally I'm the same height. I think Amelia was like, "Oh gosh, she's grown today." Um, right, Sarah. I, can you believe this? I can't. I'm just shocked at the price. Completely and utterly, and it's you know they are big, sizable pieces on there, and I just think you know even if you just want to use them as a few accent gemstones just to add that pop of colour, or whether you want to go and get as, as many of the buyers did, get multiple strands and then go out and make all your full-on sets of jewellery. Because you would only need a couple with them being such sizable nuggets yeah. in the middle, and it's 11 by one mil, they're very sizable in the middle, and they're. Um, the amount of space they take up, just a couple of those in between maybe with a pearl for a pair of earrings, you don't need a lot, do you? No, I mean you can make this really stretch mm -hmm. by just using a couple or you can just really go to town. At that price I'd be buying many of them and going to town but mm -hmm. I mean you know one strand would make lots of bracelets, earrings, you know, or even if you just wanted one neckline piece and just have, just, I'd just re-strand it even with some spacers if you wanted to, really simple. I cannot wait to see what you're going to mm -hmm. do with this. This um, is probably the first time ever I've given a guest designer an actual turquoise as a challenge. This is, I think for it's me, the first amazing. Time I've, I've ever actually been able to work with it on a show, so it's brilliant. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, way over 200 have already gone. We've, we've had 550 originally. Just check them out before they go. What you're seeing here is something I really need to point out because it's the first time, uh, and bear in mind, I've presented within this channel on a sister channel just shy of 10 years now, um, or fully solely on genuine gemstones. And it's the first time I've ever been able to bring you the luxury of turquoise, which is favoured in America, which has got the pyrites in it, mm. flashes of pyrites throughout your turquoise. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but this is a different strand to the one I had a moment ago. And that wonderful pyrite flash, and you're getting a great quantity of blues, which you get due to the presence of copper. And you have a huge amount of greens, which you get due to the presence of iron as well. It's sort of the traditional turquoise colour isn't it? It is, it's very beautiful I love those inclusions I think they just give it a real warmth and a richness to it as well yeah. and just make it even more opulent than saying I've got natural turquoise how, how amazing to say that and then have all these flashes of the beautiful pyrite coming through. It's amazing first time I've ever brought you turquoise with that extra uh, love yeah. Um, many of us, uh, I know in, in different locations, prefer the plain turquoise without any matrix, the sort of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, but a lot, uh, and the majority of those uh, buying in America, the connoisseurs, tend to go for your sort of pyrites and your markings, right, and that's exactly what we've got here, and the first time I've ever seen that, so I'm really pleased. Enjoy it. I shall. Can't wait to see what she makes for it between <laughs> now and the end of the show. Can I just do that? It goes beautifully with this top. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want. Enjoy it. Um, right, I'm going to take you over to Spotlight Deal. Oh, in fact, Spotlight Deal. Are you ready for some rubies? Alison, guest designer Alison, who's uh, filming a DVD this morning, is currently taking a workshop, wire work workshop. <laughs> it's always a hard one to say that, wire work workshop. You know you've got your teeth in if you can say it. Um, right. And she's already had her eyes spied on these. She, in fact, took them out to the workshop. She's already messaged guest designer Sammy, who will be working with, now this is going to be crazy, both of them. 
on Tuesday morning. Both Alison and Sammy together, they've both been given two uh, the same kit and they're going to be working together um, and doing separate ideas with the same kit and then working together on Tuesday morning. So it's going to be crazy. So Sammy, I know you're watching because Alison told me she's going to message you to get her these. So have a looky looky. These are juicy as you like, rich, wonderful reds, flashes of burgundy and flashes of almost that glowing, verging on pink. Uh, ten in baskets already. Now, I don't have thousands of these. I don't have hundreds of these. I have 45 opportunities already. Essex, um, Greater Manchester and Ayrshire have managed to confirm and, and secure theirs, which is so great to see. Wayne's Gems are showing an interest. I hope you don't mind me saying that. You've just, oh, you've actually got them <laughs> when I say that. Lots of people put them in the baskets, and I appreciate you might not decide to go for it, but you're thinking about it. It's like what we do at the shops. I'll put lots of things in my basket as I'm going around, or if I'm on the internet and if I'm looking at things, whether it be gemstone jewellery, whether it be uh, loose gems that we have here or whether it just be at the shops having a look at outfits and you put things in your basket and then you total it up and you decide what you want to do. With Jewel and Maker on something like this, as there are only 45, what I would urge you to do is if you're thinking about it, Give us a wee call. Remember, you've got 30 days to make your mind up. And that's from the day you get them in your hand. Bearing in mind, it's one post and packaging. The post and packaging doesn't change because you're getting rubies. It doesn't go up because the, the ruby is, is, is very rare and considered and, uh, and beautiful. It will still be the same £2.95 in the UK for one post and packaging in any one day. Just add it all into the same order. Make sure you check it out. Um, you can check out as many times as you want in the same order in the same day from midnight to midnight Jewel and Maker UK times so that's GMT time if you're joining us anywhere else in the world you've got a fair few hours to take advantage of that but what I would suggest with Merseyside London Berkshire Greater London again Oxfordshire Middle Lothian these have all confirmed already from 45 down to 29 um, I've got Alison Tarry has got it in her basket I can see you Alison I can see it look at her sitting there we can see you. Is she on her phone? Put it in a basket. Yeah. That is holy Alison Tarry. We can see you. <laughs> she's, she's, I was going to say check it out quickly. She's done it. She's checked it out. I guess she didn't manage to get Sammy out of bed then. <laughs> <laughs> Big thumbs up. Oh, I looked at putting her phone away as if that's all she's going to shop for all day. As if Alison Tarry. Um, are there rubies treated? Nope totally natural rubies um, the one way I would have said that now I've just had that confirmed by my producer and I would always get you to print out your authenticity certificate I think it's a great idea and I'm going to be honest because you're getting 45 I'm always honest I'm probably too honest for my own good but because you're getting um, what is that roughly 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 approximately you're getting a guaranteed carry of 115 carats you may get one more you may get one less depending on how sizable they are you might get some bigger ones you might get some medium ones it will just depend on that but what I would do and you can print it out at any time is I would print out your authenticity certificate for the quantity of how many you've got and then you could say, do you think that's a good idea, Sarah? And then you could say, well, this is your cabochon ruby, and here's an authenticity certificate to prove that this is a natural ruby, and it's from this collection of 115 carats that, that I bought. Yeah. Do you think? That's definitely a really good idea. Um, and, you know, that way you've, you've got that already, and you yeah. don't have to worry that you make a piece in the future and think, oh, I've got to go back and get the authenticity card. I would just print them all out at the beginning, put one with each one, yeah. pop them in your collection, and when you use them, then you've got the authenticity card there ready to go with it and uh, ready to go with that piece of jewellery for you. Absolutely. You can laminate them, grab yourself a, a laminator. I don't know how expensive they are, um, but I, I, I've heard you can get one for not too much from the... Well, there you go. £60, and you've got how many? Just from what I've got here, that's 11 pendants. What would you charge for one ruby pendant? And that's about, what, 10 carats each, approximately? About £5.45 pennies each? Wow. For a natural ruby cabochon. Uh, and the, the darker sort of burgundy tones that you're getting there almost give it a, an easier way of recognising that that's a natural ruby. Mm -hmm. When you get the sort of, a lot of people don't look at, I mean, just look at the faceting. It's not even as if it's a, a, a dome cabochon, which we love, mm. but you've got extra faceting on there. Known as a brilliant facet when they're triangular or diamond shaped facets. Lovely to, and look how that's going to move. Whether you prong set it, whether you cabbage and set it, whether you, I mean, even just simply glue it. 
Yeah, um, I mean, you can do so many different things with the cabochons, whether you into your wire, you might want to set it into um, your sterling silver clay. Oh, yes. You know, your precious metal clay. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm sure if uh, Tracy's watching, she'll be, she'll be looking at these with great interest for doing that sort of, you know, that um, mm. work with. But you can set them in so many different ways. Even if you just want to do a little bit of tiny wire crochet, that will go around it. You can do lots of different things. Or the Viking knits around work beautifully. They're amazing. So many ideas. Even if you just watched yesterday's de demonstration on one of the, the pear-shaped elongated labradorites. Did you see it yesterday with Claire? If you watched it, if you didn't, you can watch back on YouTube. But she so showed you how to prong set a pear shape. You can maybe have a look back at that and do that. Just to let you know, there were only 45. I don't have that anymore. If everybody in the basket's checked out, it will sell out. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. You could share it amongst friends. You could all club it together and get yourself a, a fair few cabochons each. Completely up to you. But just to, to let you know, you need to do it as, as soon as you can. This... is 100% a Thursday Frenzy deal. Are you ready for it? I hope you are. Good morning. This is going to be superb. Where's my tweezers? Have you ever heard of a bolt ring clasp? Absolutely. Probably one that you see every day. You might even not know what it is. But this, an example of a simple bolt ring clasp. Easy peasy as pie. Now they are all silver plated on top of copper. 9 by 6 mil in size and there's a 6 millimeter jump ring there for you. Now this is a lush open jump ring and you get 100 clasps but bearing in mind that's technically oh and they're perfectly flush cut. I was struggling to see where the, um, where the actual link was. Or oh, the cut was, sorry. Um, so just simple how you would normally open and close a clasp. I'll try and do it while I'm holding it with tweezers, but remind I'm left-handed, so I'm using the opposite. But there you go. Put your spring on the end as well, and then you have your jump ring. So that's technically you've actually got 200 pieces, 100 being the clasps, and 100 being the jump rings, and you could use the jump rings for chain mail. Yeah, you could, you could do all do sorts with them, because they're open, so you could yeah. make your own little extender chains from them. Um, just use them in between your own head pins or your eye pins to create little interesting links. Um, just keep them for whatever you want if you don't want to use them with the ring bolt clasp. Completely up to you. Yeah. yeah. Love that idea. Um, what do you reckon? Love it, I love it. Well, normally £9.90. But today is the day that's called Thursday Frenzy. Not officially, anywhere else. £7.95. Boom! Shake, shake the room. Boom. Shake, shake. We're going down. How low can Limbo go? How low can Kimbo go? She likes to limbo ever so low. We love her Kimbo. She goes low. Um, Kim is your producer. I like to call her Kimbo because it rhymes with limbo. And she's awesome and I love it. Thursday Frenzy. Ah! Um, are you ready? Are you ready? Call me when you can and get involved. Can you ever have too many clasps? No. That's your, yeah, 100 necklaces, 100 um, bracelets. If you've got extra ring bolt clasps, you can use them for your charms, to pop <gasps> into your charm bracelets. You can oh, yeah. use them to make interchangeable pieces of jewellery, so you can have one at either side of several drops and then have a oh, large yeah. decorative jump ring to attach them all onto. You can make Key rings? You, yeah. Bike like charms? Can you do that? Yeah, you're just going to find so many ways to use them that aren't just necessarily for finishing off and using it as a closure so uh, I use them all the time for charms and things like that or just even if for earrings if you want to add an extra bit you know mm -hmm. so you've got an interchangeable pair of earrings you can add an extra drop onto a pair of earrings so that you go from almost like a stud style pair of earrings to having an evening chandelier style earring mm. very Alice, easily. Um, I love that sorry I'm just looking at Alison Terry I'm thinking she's gonna get these as well isn't she? <laughs> she's in on it all so that's a hunt. is that her on her phone? No She's either on her phone or she just, no, she's describing. Her hands are free. <gasps> lots and lots of multi bits in there. Have you got yours? What's your preferred clasp, Amelia? Do you like magnetic clasps, boat ring clasps, lobster clasps, toggle clasps? I do quite like um, the toggle clasps. Do you like a toggle clasp? You're a toggle clasp girl. I am. I think I am, yeah. Yeah, what do you reckon you are, Sarah? Um, I like toggle clasps if it's a bracelet. Yeah. Because that makes it easy to, to do. 
but actually for security, ring bolt clasps were great yeah. because then, you know, um, for, and also you can use them with a finer chain for an extender. So if you've got oh, a really yeah. fine chain for an extender, a ring bolt clasp will quite often go through, whereas an S hook wouldn't. Yeah. So it gives you versatility. And I think there's a clasp for every job. Yes. So I don't think I have a personal favorite. real favourite. I just you have think personal favourites yeah, for each. For each sort of task. I think that's a really good way of looking at it. You just have the, the best solution ah, for, for creating the perfect you finish to your jewellery. Love it. Love, love, love it. Join me as soon as you can on the phone lines or on the web. Whatever you do, do not miss out because they are very, very cheekily priced. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. Oh, there's some amazing treats coming your way today. Amazing. Rubies we've just done. But, yep, I'm a wee bit taller today. <laughs> um, yep, so rubies we've done. Turquoise. Just tuned in? Right, have a look on the website or call the contact centre. We have turquoise coming your way. Oh, well, it's already coming your way, so make sure you order it because it's amazing and it's going to sell out. They're only 550 It's phenomenal. Let's get... Oh, I had a look at this yesterday. I love this colour kit. Look at this. Just that in its own. I want it for that. Job done. Yeah. Job done. <laughs> what do you reckon? And they're just so colourful and it's just they work beautifully together with all the gemstones. Don't they just? They're yeah. so pretty. Oh, we had a look at some different cords earlier. These, you cannot buy individually in the website at the moment. You have to get them in a kit like this. Um, it's almost like we did that on purpose. Uh, but we have a brilliant kit for you and a brilliant price point for you. This is called uh, Gerbera. Mm -hmm. There we can see it. <laughs> um, I have the different colours. I'm going to get their official names for you because otherwise I'll just call them pink, hot pink and lilac. But they might have an official name. So I'm just going to have a wee look there. Um, fuchsia, light pink and light purple. Oh, well, there we go pretty close. I um, thought it might be a wee bit more inventive than that sometimes. Is Sometimes I don't get what ones want. I know, sometimes they give them such technical colours, you yeah. don't kind of work it out. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. So um, each one of these, these are coming in uh, with a nylon reel as 0.5 millimetre gauge and 200 metres in each and they're all the same gauge. All right, 500, 0.5 mil for all of them, 200 metres in each, so you get 600 metres just in these three alone. Then you've had your beading thread, monofilament and elastic. Beading thread, which is my favourite, is the new gauge beading thread, which is a must because I was struggling the other day with my pearl, um, not my pearls, with fire opal of the miniest size, trying to get 0.45 mil through and it wouldn't yeah. go through. So I needed the 0.38, which you've got here. So it's a thinner gauge, it's going to fit through more gemstones. You also have four strands of matching gems to your threads. <gasps> Love it! Pink shell! Is that a light pink shell? Whoa! Peach mother of pearl! Love it! They're beautiful. I, oh, I want it. I want that. <laughs> I, oh, I need this. I've never seen the peach mother of pearl. Oh, I need it. I need it in my life. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Just so beautiful, so delicate. Oh, I need it. You had any left over? Uh, might be a few left over. <laughs> I've got a small wrist. Yeah, well, I've got enough enough here from, <gasps> that we left from the demo. So. Yes. Can I dip? <laughs> you can dip. What do you oh, mean well, no, Kim? You're getting I, turquoise. I, I, I say yes. But Sarah said yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I said yes. Um, you've then got these gorge pinks. I imagine that'll be your pink quartzite, but uh, I'll just have a wee confirmation on that for you there. Uh, pink colour dye quartzite uh, quartz. There we go. They're four mil peacock pearls. They are beauts, aren't they? And then I've got red shaded coloured dyed quartz graduated, which you see these. Oh, they're all going to fall down. So I have to keep them. <laughs> and look at this one. I know. It's this amazing. is scrumptious. It's amazing. I love this. It's almost, you know, when you see fruit ripening and it changes colours all the way through, it's got all of those beautiful tones. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh gosh, I can see strawberries, I can see cranberries, I can see raspberries, a little bit of rhubarb in there, a little bit of oh, apricots in there, peaches mm. there. This has got everything. That's amazing. I love that strand. Oh, it's like a fruit berry crumble <laughs> without the crumble, which I know is partly the best bit, but...
colour wise it's like I've just done my crumble um, my fruit berries for my crumble not put the crumble on top I know it's just it's lovely it's just so refreshingly different I just love the fact when you get a strand that is so different from anything else you've mm. seen for such a long time and having so many different colour tones in there and even if you just wanted to literally just put a clasp on the end of that I think that was a beautiful necklace I agree 400 is that 400 440 carats on this one strand alone super so you've had this to work with as well as a findings pack yes so there's your findings pack there in fact we'll have a look at the findings pack when we look through the designs because you'll be able to see those findings featured throughout with the earrings and the fancy toggles but the findings pack that you've got on there is approximately 90 pieces so not your 40 oops let's make that 89 <laughs> um no, you're usually at 45. You've actually got 90 pieces in this findings pack. So you get extra with your crimp covers, crimps, you've got beads, you've got spacers in there as well. You've also got your head pins, featherweight head pins, fancy detailed head pins, toggles, ear wires, sh um, two different toggle clasps, as well as uh, ribbon cord endings. You've got it all, as well as that length of chain. So um, with the price point coming in, I'm just going to move this to the side. We should be just shy of 40 pounds what do you reckon we could do for you bearing in mind these reels you can only get on um, you can't get them on their own you can only get them together with this you've got pearls you've got a strand of peach mother of pearl I've never even seen before which I need <laughs> need it and this one I have to have this is unlike any other I've not seen anything like this no I haven't seen anything it's like that lush. it's gorgeous and that's just been knotted in between which you could of course in turn do yourself love love or love text messages coming through or web comments should i say is that long strand brand new that is amazingly beautiful emily in the west midlands it absolutely is would you like to have a look it's a beaut it is and uh, just the color tones are just fantastic i just and the facets as well, I had, to, those I had to be diamond facets. I know, I had to be really sort of, not just to restrand it all and just maybe just really yeah. do something simple with it because I wanted to show that you can split up the graduation on it, but mm -hmm. you know, you can just really keep that as simple as you want to if you just wanted to literally, you could almost even leave it on the strand and just put um, a ribbon clasp end on each yeah. end and not even have to do anything with it. Um, personally, so I would... be a great beginners. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I'd reuse my, my cords that I've got in there and, and maybe have various different colours running through. So I actually put one of each strand of the of the cords through it if, if they'll fit. I think you'll get two certainly through, but probably three strands and just have those knotted. So have oh, three different colours knotted add in to between. that colourfulness. Yeah. That would be stunning. Um, so PXGC uh, 30, PXGC 30 is where we are. £25 from just shy of 40 just shy of 40 25 pounds wow i think if just just if for this, that one strand and those cords i'd personally pay that because the cords are amazing they'll go on for ages and that one strand is just absolutely gorgeous at 46 centimeters 440 carats enjoy it graduates and they start at seven by four mil and they go up to 19 by 13 mil um so i'm going to let you start with your demonstration okay. and i'm going to have a wee calculate of how many you get okay. on this strand for you because i know a lot of you've been asking do check this out as soon as you can it's only 25 oh we haven't seen anything yet we've seen from a distance <laughs> i'll have a quick look then put cufflinks on there too you've got your two pairs of earrings showing off your shepherd hooks and you've got your mixture of completely different necklaces yes stunning mixture some are using a toggle clasp in a different way as well i love the way you've used the t-bar have you just sort of turned the t-bar and I make have. it almost like a bail i have i've just just wow. used uh, my pliers just to bend that round to create that so it's got a nice um bail for the cords to sit through a stunning mixture and i'm guessing although if I'm wrong, <laughs> that this is the bracelet. Please let me know if I'm yes, wrong. Yes, no, you the are right. We're going to be demonstrating, yes, is yeah. it? Yes. You had to choose the one with the peach mother of pearl, didn't you? I saw that. I'm only going to use a few. That's There's plenty right. left. For yes. <laughs> Debs. <laughs> okay, so to start this bracelet, what we're going to do is you actually start with one piece of beading thread, and you start from one side, and you'll add in to create the clasp on ah. this side. So we're going to start off, and what I've done is I threaded on one of the um, peach mother of pearl with a um, pearl. Oh, peacock, peacock pearl. pearl these are gorgeous and then four more of the mother of pearl 
and we're going to work from this centre mother of pearl outwards. So I'm going to take the end of my beading thread and what I need to do, is I hold on to that one because it will want to go away, um, is I'm going to take my cord around back to the first of the mother of pearl in that group of four and take it back through in the opposite direction. And then I'm just going to pull that tight to create that little diamond shape that you see there. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So if you imagine this is your center, mm -hmm. so I've got the four again. And you always bring your thread the way you want the diamond to turn. So I want it to oh. turn around. So I'm going to bring it in an anti-clockwise direction towards that first mother of pearl and go through. And what you need to do when you do the second one is make sure that that, that bead is pushed right up to the pearl next to it. And then pull that tight, like so you'll end up with the two diamonds like that. Mm. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to add two more pearls and one of the mother of pearl and cross your threads over. So you're going to get to this point here. So we're getting to this point where my mother of pearl is in the center. So I do the two pearls and crossed over. And I get to that point and I've just created another two diamonds exactly the same way. I'm just gonna show you how we cross over. So there's the two pearls again. So it's the same process as we've done after the first section and then I will cross over through the mother of pearl and be ready to add my next section which would be another pearl and another four of the mother of pearl and create the diamonds. Oh, yes. I'm just going to show you, you've got your ends here to be able to finish one side of your bracelet off mm -hmm. but I have no ends on this side of my bracelet so I would do five repeats of the diamonds ah. and that would get me all of the um, bracelet created and then what I would do is I would just take another little piece of my beading thread which I forgot to cut to create the opposite side is what I would do is just take another piece of beading thread through that first center mother of pearl mm -hmm. take it through and if you find it's difficult to get that to go through if you just twist the mother of pearl bead in your fingertips normally that will allow that to get the cord to come through Oh. And you can see I've got another set of cords to be able to finish off. And literally all I did to finish off was add a couple of the pearls, one on either side. And then, and because you're never crossing your threads through um, your pearls, just the, only the mother of pearl, mm -hmm. you... Um, don't have to worry that the drill holes are slightly more delicate in your pearls because you're never actually taking two threads through them. So this pattern ah. is beautiful for any pearls you have if you use them as the accent gemstone. So I was just going to create lots of little diamonds running down the bracelet. So you mm. can see I've done that down here. So I've got them running around my bracelet and then just added some more of the pearls and onto my clasp at the other side. Whoops, there we go see them there. How pretty. And you do so five repeats and then add your clasp on either side just the same way. Really really simple and straightforward. Just like that. But because it's a repeating pattern once you get the first pit done just repeat as, as many times as you want or you could even make this into a choker if you wanted yeah. to. Just you could do a matching set and a wee one section for yeah, an earring for that's each it. one. Yes. <gasps> I, I love would, it. If I was making an earring I'd run mm -hmm. from the top here of the of the diamond. Right. And if I put my fingers on either side so yep. you can see I would make that little section there for an earring. So the peach so would be at the top yes, and the bottom. Yes, and then you, you would have your connector for your earring coming out of the top of the peach moonstone there. So that would be uh, a little section that you would create. Love that. Yeah, yeah. sorry, your peach mother pearl, you got it. <laughs> we've, got, we've been calling it everything. We're so oh, excited yeah. to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Just haven't seen it before. Lovely. Um, thank you, Sarah, so, so much. I'm going to leave you with actually your challenge. I know. Oh. I'm so excited. It's amazing. Um, and I'm going to jump over. Uh, if you haven't already got that, do try and grab it where you can because the stocks are very limited. And I'm going to bring you some. Have a look at this. No. I couldn't possibly be bringing you the largest pearls at this available moment to me right now, could I? Or could I? It is time for your genuine whopping pearls. They are huge. Mungus, 10 by 9 mil. Not shine or tiring in any way. Look at that. Look at the colour. Look at the size, the orient. You don't need to be close up and personal for that. You can see it from a distance. Really, really sizable. White cultured pearls. Look at that. Now, 
forgive me for saying this if you don't agree, but how close to perfectly round are they? They're incredibly close. I mean, if you looked at it there, would you not think they were perfectly round? I would, and they look amazing, and I can see them from a distance over there, and also close up on one of the screens, yep. and behind you, I can see them spinning around very, very close up, and they look amazingly spher spherical, you know, mm. perfectly round, um, to my eye. Um, so if I saw those in a window of a jewellers, I wouldn't think anything other than that they were perfectly round. Yeah. Good job so we good tell you, so you know. Yes. Some places don't. No, no. Um, what we like to do is give you as much information as we possibly can about what you've got. So why is that important that they're almost perfectly round? When you have a perfectly round pearl, that can change the value of the pearl massively, as can the surface of the pearl, how smooth it is, as can as well. Two have already gone to Sarah Middlesex on the telephone. Lovely to see you, Sarah. Um, whether it be the orient, how many colours you're seeing coming from the stone, whether it be the most beautiful lilacs and pinks. You know, when people get, this is going to be crazy, but if I compare it to sort of pearlescent paint, you know, when you look paint with pearlescent paint, you do it because it's not just a block colour, it's not just one colour, it's got all these lovely colours coming through it. Pearlescence, that's what you look for, funnily enough, in a pearl. You want to see those different hues. Even on a white pearl, you want to see the lilacs and the pinks and the soft, maybe pastel greens, maybe pastel blues. That's what you look for in your pearl. And when you get it, you know you've got yourself something special. Now, you may have been fortunate enough to already acquire some natural turquoise this morning. If you were... That would be a stunning, stunning combination. The mixture of the near to perfect round and then the nugget form of your natural turquoise together. Or you could go completely the other way and add in multi barrel. Wait to see these. The quality of these is delicious. Elaine in Yorkshire has gone for two. The amount of people who have joined us so far, everyone who's joined us on this strand has bought two. Now there must be a reason for that. Whether it be you want to make a matching set, a set um, earrings and a pendant. Just want to show you an idea of what you could do with maybe a ruby pendant. Would that be something that you would consider? A ruby dropping from a pearl bracelet or a pearl necklace? We've already had the rubies on today, but there may still be some available. We only had 45 opportunities. Grab it when you can if you alternated it with moonstone of the highest calibre. Now, there's a should be price in this. Oh, with Vesuvianite. Brand new presenters pick for you today. Of course, I'm going to pick this for you today. Mmm, what would you like? A shoulda, woulda, coulda price? Sorry, there's a wee loose thread in there. Forgive me for that. Price point on this £25. But this launched on a manager day. Was it with me? It was with Becky. Well, that means I didn't get to take advantage of the manager day. I didn't even know manager day existed. Oh, you mean the manager was producing? Ah, well, I've got Kim producing. So let's let's see what we can do. As I say, everybody who's got this has now got... Oh! <laughs> everybody who'd got it had bought two. And that's when it was at £25. I mean, you can see that, Sarah. I've not I fibbed can. in any no. way. I've no reason to fib. I've no need to fib. It must be catching because there's somebody else bought another two as well. Exactly. <laughs> well done. So we've just beaten our own prices. Ah, well. I mean, where I, can you go from there? I know. I, I, I would as well Sorry. because they are so... I mean, if you make any bridal jewellery or you know anyone who's getting married or you know someone who's going to a... A wedding that's going to need to have wedding jewellery, it's obvious to me to get this strand for that. Whether you're mother of the bride, bridesmaids, flower girls, all sorts of different it's things. It's funny you're saying that my mum is um, mother of the groom and I'm making her pearls yeah. for her jewellery. Because at that price, there is no one I know that you could probably even, for a pair of pearl stud earrings with that size pearl, I don't know anywhere, any of the jewellers near me that I would be able to even walk in and say, could I have a pair of sterling silver? Um, pearl stud earrings, that size, that quality, that beauty, and get change yeah. from that much money. No chance. Yeah, and that's at just all. be for one pearl. Yeah. Um, the only thing we can find similar on our website is at twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence for a similar size in your white pearl. Um, so this is ten pounds less. Completely up to you. You can go for that one. You can go for this one. You don't have to go for any. These two strands are coming up. Um, I imagine as a bit of a double dose of uh, your amethyst. These would be tremendous. Imagine February. 
oh. the month of love for many people they're beautiful together they work just so gorgeously such an effortless combination imagine we did that and then added in something like this that's clear <sighs> pure indulgence isn't it so much coming your way today so many treats but what you cannot do is miss out on something that you see that you fancy if it's these that you fancy going for absolutely and um, we did have a limited quantity as i say lots of people multi multi bidding on that i've not got enough to stay on that so i'll move on tzmg 23 two four six eight ten two four six eight ten well i'm halfway and you've got about 20 so i reckon it's about 40 on that strand if that helps you um check it out as and when you can so tz mg 23 i've got less than 33 left um they're allocating as we speak i'm gonna leave that with you because i'm there are about 20 left the computer's just catching up so do check it out when you can if you've got it in your web basket best of luck to you it is time for your wall of fame Wall of Fame, and look what I've just found. Is this a cheeky at baloney going on? This mm -hmm. looks fabulous. One, three, two, I've got first of all for you. Please find attached my first piece of wire work, um, all from GM. I use a mixture of rose gold and silver wire. I've been making jewelry for a few years now, but watching all your wonderful designers working with wire made me reach into my stash and have a go and make this beautiful power shell into a pin. Oh gosh, you got a power shell amazing um, I just keep admiring them thank you GM for giving us a confidence to have a go and for the wonderful products that I can't resist love to you all and that is from June June lovely well done you and you got yourself a power shell mm, congratulations indeed beautiful I've got one three three here beautiful piece oh, of wire yes. work um, and this is from Cheryl and she is in Grimsby she Hiya. says good morning all at JM this week's offering for the wall of fame is a tree of life which I love but wanted to do something a little bit different rather than the usual round frame variety. So this is the result. I used one mil for the frame, 0.6 for the tree instead of the usual 0.4, which was harder on the hands. Um, so the Viking knit chain I wanted to make to hang on it will have to wait until my fingers recover. Uh, the gems are tiny peridot. Good luck to all in the draw, and that's from Cheryl in Grimsby. Love it, Cheryl, and I love the way you've displayed it as well. I'm loving all these different gemstones and horse mm. rocks and, and trees and gardens and kittens and things. That everything's been displayed on. I'm <laughs> loving it. Um, and the bust on the previous one, love it. Um, number 134, oh goodness me. And again, a lovely bust. Loving the Labradorite rondelles here. These are gorgeous. Or wheels, let me just check. Um, wonderful. This is from April. Hello, everyone at GM. This is my make for this week. I use Labradorite and pearls all from GM. Uh, I hope you like the set. Hope I am lucky. And that's from April. April, I hope you are too. Best of luck to you. Love that. What a treat. Labradorite and pearls, oh. as you do. Oh, why not, indeed? Mm. And I have 135. <gasps> it's like um, all the wisteria and things you see, all the oh, colours, isn't it? Beautiful. Love it. It's just not too dis yeah. dissimilar to that previous kit we had there. Um, and this is from Hel is that Helene, Helene, I believe. Ooh, Hope I nice. said that right. Uh, Wall of Fame entry, memory wire, gizmo fuchsia wire and chain with amethyst chips and pink quartzite, all from JM. Uh, working up my way through Mark's DVD, chips and wires and finding it very useful. Uh, probably going to be a present for my cousin. Best wishes and good luck to all. And that's from Helene. Um, and that's what, um, she said she sent her entry this week, which she wasn't sure when the new entries start. I think well, it's straight after the draw. <laughs> yeah, you're in. Alison Terry, I absolutely love you. <gasps> Can you see? Can you see what Alison <laughs> Terry has just brought to us? Very naughty. Stay there, Alison. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we see you. I love it. I tried to sneak in. You did, but I wasn't letting you sneak it. Thank you so much. What is this? Coconut cake. I love Ooh. coconut. I made coconut rice the other day. It's that good. I actually thought about posting the recipe on the book of the face because I'm really proud of it. <laughs> I might just do that if you want some coconut rice. Mm. Um, I'm obsessed with coconut at the moment. It's coconut though, oil. I use it for everything. Absolutely brilliant. Takes your makeup off really well as well. Anyway, <laughs> one, three, six. This I've had my eye on. I'm not going to lie. This is a real treat. The Labradorite you've got, I believe it's Labradorite from the picture, looks 
Oh, amazing. And mm. um, hi, Jim. I've made this cuff bracelet with beautiful labradorite and copper wire from GM. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. And this is lots of love from Tracy out in, is it Swin's Head, Swine's Head? I hope I said that correctly. Sorry if I haven't. Lovely Tracy. What a work of art. A lot of work's gone into that. Well done, you. And what a treat to have a, a labradorite of that size. Isn't it lush? And, and to capture that quality coming through is so difficult. So this labradorite must be just shouting that that all that labradorite so to pick it up on the camera. Definitely. I love how you've got a little bit of sunlight sort of yeah. sweeping through. <laughs> love that. Very artistic, these pictures. They don't need to be, but I'm loving that they are. Um, if you haven't already entered the Wall of Fame, get involved. Yesterday we had two fabulous winners uh, of £50 and £100 vouchers to spend here at Jewelry Maker. So it's always worth it. It's in a draw so all, everybody who enters whether you put up in the wall of fame or not you all get entered in in fact I'll show you how to, to get involved during the break but before that I need to show you the most amazing Vesuvianite have you ever seen this gemstone never in fact you know what I'm gonna make you wait till after the break that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have some coconut cake. Do you fancy some? Oh, yes, indeed. Have some coconut cake. Mm. I'm going to think about the Eslon thread that's coming up on the other side of the break. Maybe have a wee think about the Chrysler collar, which is coming up, which is so rare. Have a look on Gem Collector. We have two, unless they've sold since last night when I looked at 10.30. They have, that's incredible. Um, there's two pieces of Christ call in our sister pay, our sister channel, Gem Collector. Have a look on there at the price points and then you'll be amazed with what we can do with a whole strand. It's coming up on the other side of a very, well, maybe a long break actually. I'm going to have some cake, so <laughs> it'll probably be a short break. Tom will want to do some work, I'm sure. Bye. <laughs> The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the watch live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Book now to take part in the Gemporia experience. Take a behind the scenes tour of the TV studios, meet the presenters and learn about gemstones and jewellery. The price of £169 includes an overnight stay at the picturesque White Swan Hotel, a buffet lunch, refreshments, a £20 gift voucher towards your evening meal and a free glass of bubbly. It's terrific. Hannah is so knowledgeable, um, the gemologist, and as I said, I, I've learnt loads and I would recommend, highly recommend it to anybody. Very good value, very well put together and yes, go for it. <laughs> Dates are limited, so call or email us now for an experience you'll never forget.
I have so much coming up for you. It is your Thursday frenzy. I have so many deals, so many treats. I'm Ali Defoy. It's wonderful to see you. And it's even more wonderful to be a presenter of this amazing channel. I just got brought a coconut cake. And it's delicious. I only had to be half of it. Oh yes, and it was scrumptious. Don't know what I did to deserve that one. Love it. Right. Thursday frenzy deal. Are you ready for this? Can you handle it? I've only got 100 S long cord, let's get it on. Earlier we had some S long cord, but that has sold out, so I probably shouldn't remind you of that because you may have missed out. But the good news is I've got this, yay! Um, I've got four different colours. As you can see, you are looking at 0.9 millimetre for all of them. So it's a 0.9 millimetre treat. They're each 32 metres in length, giving us a total of 128 metres across the four cords. You have got what's known as um, white, copper, capri, and dark grey, or navy. I like to call it navy, but it's called capri. I just make me think of pants, capri pants. Maybe it's like mm. Either way, we're loving it, and so are you. 10 have already gone, loving your work. So, 20 have gone, ah, that was quick. 0800 644 If a duck, you can see them all four. There we go. So there's your dark grey, there's your capri, there's your copper, it's called. It's a lovely tan, I think it's called the tan. What is it with me? I just love to change the names that they've been given. It's like I can't accept that somebody's already named it. I want to be the one to name it. Maybe I should make up the bundles. I don't think I could do that. No, I think Kim, you're all right. I don't think I could do that challenge. Mmm. Look at this, we've got some lapis lazuli coming up. Wouldn't that work with many of those different cords? Mmm. Work with all of those beautifully. I, I loving the, the sort of steely grey blue one on the end. Isn't that a yeah. fab one? That would work beautifully with it. It would. I'm thinking quite unisex, I'm liking that one. My brother likes it, wears a lot of black and grey and white. Maybe it's because it's our football colours, as you well know, Sarah, I being do. a St Mirren fan. Um, <laughs> don't laugh quite so loudly. It's not that funny. It's real. Um, yeah, but grey is really, really popular. White and grey would be, oh gosh, look at that combination. Mmm. Oh gosh, sorry, I didn't even see the price. I'm too busy talking about favourite colours and matching them together. £9.95. pennies. Well, there you go. How much do we need the white? We absolutely do. Gosh, it's fab. Would you say it's an essential, Sarah? I know you love your sort of um, threading and working yeah. with your, your different cords. I, I love having... Um, all sorts of different chords and I'm mixing and matching them all together but for me having the, the the white there is brilliant because it just if you've got different colors and you just want to add a little pop of yes. light into into a design so if you're doing Kamehimo for instance you might just put white on one strand of your board and it just adds that pop of interest in there so you're not adding more colors sometimes you might have enough color so you might be using uh, the, the sort of the uh, blue and the steel gray together and mm. popping the white in there just lifts and tones it all and it might yeah. just be that one little pop you pop in there or if you're doing for instance a friendship bracelet you might just want that color running through Most and it just really changes the design so white's a tricky one to get hold of as well so definitely, definitely get it when you see it <laughs> grab it grab it as soon as you can um, as many of you will know you may have learned Kumihimo Sarah um, in fact taught me my Kumihimo I, I wouldn't have learned it without Sarah and she very kindly gave me a Kumihimo disc my very first one to get me started on and, and I love it now you might have already worked with these threads before you might not what, what would you say the benefit of Eslon cord is compared to maybe a satin cord? Um, Eslon's got a texture to it mm -hmm. so it holds the knots really well it holds its structure really well um, it is dedicated and designed for jewellery making and for knotting and for creating all of those things so it's just um, depends on what you're using it with I mix and match mine so for sure so I, I like to use say an Eslon to add texture because mm -hmm. it has that natural sort of um, woven Twisted, texture yeah. to it and then maybe using mixing it with your satins to mm. add the, the, the sort of softer touch but it's great for unisex pieces um, because it hasn't got too much sheen to it it has got a, a natural sheen to it but it ha isn't really it's shiny shine, shine, shine. It's like the satin one it's Yes. hasn't got that shimmer so it works better if you're looking for masculine pieces as well it's brilliant Sarah thank you so much and um, maybe even great for a beginner if it's going to hold those knots maybe mm. a, a wee bit tighter than maybe if you tried something else um, love it they have pretty much gone I've got a bundle coming up for you later um, a mix with the colours that would match nuggets wise with a mix that would match those threads so do just bear that in mind um, and do keep watching lots and lots coming up your way this I love it's your Christ collar in fact you know what we're going to do it right now we're not going to make you wait on our sister channel, did you have a look on Gem Collector where you can collect single gems alone? 
Brand new to Jewelry Maker Morning. Never before have we ever had it. If you like your turquoise, and if you like your appetite, you will love, I'm 99.9% .9 sure you will love Christ's color. It's a really, really fabulous color. It really is coming in a big, big size. I can offer to you either in your turquoise or even easily in your appetites. It's got lovely greens in there. It's also got your gorgeous blues coming through it. It's the only strand in the entire Jewelry Maker building. I haven't seen anything like it for a very long time. Jewelry Maker Morning has never seen it. We've seen it maybe a little bit on the late show. There's maybe been one strand. Nothing for the morning show. You're the first to see it. You'll be the only ones I imagine to see it because it's going to sell out because I've got a very, very limited amount. Now, price points. I had a look in our sister channel um, and there was two individual pieces of Chrysocolla that you could buy. One was 3.5 carats. Um, and the other is 3.14. Now the 3.5 carat piece is quite funny actually because they're quite similar carat weights. Um, now I'm just trying to find my notes. Here they are. 126 pounds 74 pence was the 3.5 carat piece. The 3.1 carat piece was 80, carat, uh, 80 pounds for one stone. One loose stone. Now if I look at these, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 200 carats across 12. So each one is easily over 10 carats, right? Definitely. And these were three carat stones at 80 pounds and 3.5 carats wow. was at 126 pounds for one chrysocolla on its own. Not a strand, just one stone. These are gonna work out at nine pennies per carat. Wow. For example, the first one that was three carats, 80 pounds, that's gonna be what? Over 20 pounds per carat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a single stone. <gasps> now, I've got a wee message coming through. Morning, Ali and Sarah. Uh, I got some of these and they're gorgeous. Grab them while you can. That's from Jenny at Bristol. Jenny, thank you so much. It's lovely to hear from you and I'm really, really pleased. It's almost got a mix of um, a dark matrix that you expect from a, a, Zambian, a Zambian emerald. Mm -hmm. Add in your, your greens and your neon appetites. Add in there your turquoise and you've got an idea of the colour that you look for in Christ's colour. Have a look on that website, it's our own website, our own company, Genuine Gemstone Company, um, it's called Gem Collector. And the reason I found it on there is because I was searching all of our websites trying to find it. It was the only place I could find it on our websites. That might have changed since 10 o'clock last night. Bear in mind I was filming a DVD this morning. I've been up since um, just before 5 a.m. So I haven't had a chance to check the website since then. It may have changed since then. Um, it may have sold or it may be that somebody has got another delivery. I don't know. But I think with the turquoise, that is a match made in heaven. And if you're fortunate enough maybe to have some pearls... That would just be amazing. Um, as, as Jenny has mentioned in Bristol, do try and grab it while you can because it is one that we don't have a lot of. In fact, I've never presented it um, on the morning show ever before. It's never been on a morning show. It's your first time ever. And if you were to put it maybe with something like the greens of the Vesuvianite, I mean, that's another look you could go for. How stunning. Join me when you can. These are being allocated really quickly. ESRU38 is your code for just £17.95. Pennies per carat, nine pennies per carat. What can you get for nine pennies these days? What, I mean, I'm struggling. Even penny sweets aren't pennies anymore. No, <laughs> even the 10B chocolate bars went up to 15. They did, Pete. they did. Um, that's just amazing. Oh. I love the, the tones coming through there. They are the most mesmerizing gemstone I've seen in such a long time because they just really draw you in to look at all the character that's coming through from them they are beautiful they're like the most gorgeous greeny blue Caribbean sea you've ever seen in your entire life they are amazing they are it's just before you get to the beach isn't it it's that yeah. bit just before the water goes really really light to yes. pastely you've got that gorgeous sort of green in there I absolutely agree with you and the facets that you've got can you see that it's like a laser facet that you're getting across these gems that really make them really lustrous. Well done in this, a really special gemstone that we've only ever once seen in the morning show and that's right now with me. It's not been seen ever on the morning show in Jewelry Maker. There's nothing else in the building Jewelry Maker wise. On our sister channel Gem Collector there's two, one's at 80 pounds and the other one is coming in at 126 pounds and 74 pence. 
which you could go for. Of course you can. You can go for single stones on their own. Um, and of course they might be completely different shapes, um, calibrated into a different way, maybe set into a ring or a, a pendant or something. But have a, have a wee look. I always think it's best to do your research. There's no harm in, in having extra knowledge is there. I always think knowledge is power. When you know more about something, then you feel more confident and you make a more... Uh, well, a more knowledgeable purchase, don't you? You know what you're getting. Right, um, decadent jewel. I've been looking at these all morning. These are delicious. And dare I, dare I just, oh, how long is that? I didn't expect that to be quite so long. Um, main reason being is emeralds. Uh, wow, what do you reckon? Wimbledon, it's gotta be done, isn't it? It has. It has to. <laughs> Also, the colours of the Houston Hornet basketball team in uh, in Scotland. <laughs> the one I used to play for. It was ah, white, purple, and green. Okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, well, let's get some pearls in there. Let's do the full-on colours, eh? What do you reckon? Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's really opulent, isn't it? It's, it's, those are the sort of tones you expect, the sort of gems you expect when you think of the crown jewels when you think of all of those mm. really high end I mean I look at sort of the high end jewellers when you walk down sort of Bond Street and all of those places and you just see all those and that you is see the one with the security times. guards outside yes yeah I actually made friends with the security <laughs> guards outside I used to walk past them every single morning when I used to work in a big store in Knightsbridge and they were really really lovely I think they always thought I wonder if she'll ever come in never went in there was no prices in the window no but there's those shops don't typically put prices in their windows do they and if you have to ask as I, I was always said you know if you have to ask the price you probably can't afford them yes I'm the exact <laughs> same I'm with you there 100% with you um, but then as I understand a lot of time why they don't put prices on because they don't want people to think oh it, it's that and, and maybe change their mind on it because they might be able to look at the next shop window and think oh well, that's in there and that's even less or that's even mm -hmm. more so um, I guess you can sort of maybe change people's minds before they've had the chance to look in it because a lot of it as we'll know and um, Warren Buffett says this a lot is, is about perceived value yes you definitely. can decide and I was, I was mentioning this to a lady earlier and she said oh what sort of price would you put on um, Rajasthan Garnet and it completely depends on you you might have a family relative who got engaged with the Rajasthan Garnet so to you the value of that would be much higher to somebody who's maybe no disrespect, but seen it on one of our channels in a strand and seen it for £10 and might think, oh, well, it's only £10. You might have seen it in a £15,000 ring. It's, it's however you perceive it. Yeah. This is a clearance. So forget anything you've thought price point wise about amethyst. It's probably one of the easiest gemstones to compare one worldwide. You have two 50 carat strands, 100 carats coming your way, 31 by uh, 3 by 1 mil to 6 by 2 mil, 23 centimetres. Meant to be, for the two of them, £15.90. You heard me correctly, meant to be £12.95 was going to be our price, but as it's thir Thursday frenzy, yes, it doesn't rhyme, but it means we get to take the price down. Just enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it. I love it. Lanarkshire is in, Buckinghamshire is in, Simon's in, I hope I said that right, in Rutland. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yo, baby, she got it. Less than £5 a strand. What can you get gemstone wise for even oh no let's not let's rephrase that what can you get for costume jewelry these days for five pounds crikey if you could get a pair of earrings you'd be doing well yeah plastic earrings yeah yeah um i appreciate we'll need to put a clasp on these yeah but think how many pairs of earrings you can get out of these i know if you added in maybe another strand with the discount we've got yeah might allow you to get something extra exactly maybe some pearls i love a good pearl those and pearls would look amazing. Those those smaller ones that you show, those the daintier pearls that you have, yeah. they would look amazing. Just literally two amethysts, a pearl, two amethysts. Should we get them on? Yeah. Should we have a wee gander? <gasps> look at those. Oh wow! Imagine now that you've suggested that, mm. makes me want a bracelet like that. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. It's my prom colours. Nice. Well, it's a bit more of a lilac. I wore a lilac dress. I've mm -hmm. still got it, and um, pearls. I don't fit in it. I've just got it. I'm gonna <laughs> give it to my little cousin if she wants it. Mm. That's beautiful. She's quite stylish, so she might not fancy it. <laughs> Those pearls might come up throughout the show. I would keep your eyes peeled. Nine ninety-five. We just do that <laughs> for one of the world's most recognised, instantly recognised gems. Amethyst, February's birthstone, the gem of love to many. Clear quartz chain. Oh yay! Has this been sterling silver and gold plated? 
This is gorgeous. Kimbo, I have a question for you. Well, just while we do this, well, it reminds me. What happened to that chain with the ribbon and the leather ribbon thing that Phil did the other day? Producer Phil did, and he said we had it in a different colour. Oh, ours is next weekend. All right. I think it's going to be Friday. Sorry, I'm a little bit obsessed. I've been thinking about that ever since. I was a little bit envious. Oh, Amelia, you're a legend. That coffee is delicious. I love it. Ah. Oh. Mm. Yes, right. One meter of gold plated sterling silver chain. It includes 15 carats of clear quartz, which are faceted into rondelles that are approximately three by two millimeter. I haven't seen white quartz in a chain either in the silver variety with the gold plating. And it looks lovely. That, do you know what reminded me was that it reminded me of um, the chain and the ribbon that Phil did the other day because of the colour, because of the white and the gold. Really, I haven't seen much white and gold together. Yeah. And I love it. That's yeah. going to be the perfect accent for all of your coloured gemstones, isn't it? Do you it? think? Because it's just got that neutrality to it, but it's got enough character all on its own with the gold in there as well. Do you think it would be a good idea to have just sort of short lengths of this to maybe add a pearl at the bottom for earrings or would yeah, that work? Yeah, definitely. I, I use this chain all the time for things like my little extenders on my bracelets mm, as well. So you might nice. have your design around the front and you just don't necessarily want a, a larger design around the back of the wrist, but yeah, you still want the delicate. gemstones to continue. So I use the chain a lot for that and also for putting an extender on so that they're perfect for selling on because they're no going to fit from the dainty six and a half inch wrist right up to your eight inch wrist. Oh, perfect. Catering for everybody. Yes. Imagine we had something like these with them. Oh, amazing. That would oh. just be perfect. Now, this, oh, is that all? I thought they, what's going on? When these first came in, they were between 1795 and 1995. I guess I, I appreciate that depending on the gem. Black Spinel was near mm -hmm. about 1995 or 2195, 1795. This launched at a cheeky £14.95. Well, there you for a full meter. Every single one of these links are wrapped for you. You're not losing any silver. You're not having to use any time to make it. You're not having to do the gold plating. It's all done for you. Faster gemstones. But hold on, wait a minute. We're doing 11.95 because Kimbo's having a day. <laughs> She's just having a day. Got a wee message coming through. It's from Liz and Kent. Hi, Liz. I love this chain and used one like it to make a bracelet for a bride. Very delicate. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm with you Liz, um, this is one of my favourites, um, I like layering, mm. I love to layer dainty bracelets and I think just one of those as a bracelet, well think how much you'd have left from one bracelet, oh I've tangled it, does that mean I get to keep it, oh no it untangles quite easily there, <laughs> you're not really helping me there Chain are you, imagine that, I'll just hold it end to end, oh it's all my hair is in the way, look how long it is, I'm just thinking if you've got like I have a child who's leaving school, Mm -hmm. going on to their next school oh yeah there's normally a lot of gifts to make for teachers and teaching assistants ah. and um, people have helped them through the school this it's is perfect kind of if you want to just make really quick gifts as well you can see it's a lot of the work's done you can just add a clasp on it make anklets you can make bracelets earrings from it anybody um, looking to offer a job at where uh, Sarah's children go to because <laughs> um, I can do things I can help <laughs> I can help Sarah's children on the way. I think last time I made, I think it was 12 gifts when my other son left for the school. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. My mum was a teacher. She got so many beautiful gifts, but many of them were sort of smellies. You know, there's lovely bathroom powders and soaps. Mm. And there's only so many smellies you can fit in a bathroom, though. That's it. And the, the teachers normally get so many sort of chocolates and drinks oh, and things like that. Oh, they can keep those coming, the chocolates. Like that. <laughs> Love that. Oh, right. Let's get these on the road for you. I was just talking about this. Um, Spinel usually was about between 1995 and sometimes um, if we didn't manage to, to get it on a, a really naughty day it would be around the, the fabulous price of just 29, 21.95. Um, recently that has changed, I don't know why. Um, this was launched, oh gosh, well a late show with our executive producer Martha who is currently on her holly bobs. Um, hold on, if I think correctly if you just tuned in, hi, I'm Ali, nice to see you. Um, lovely to meet you if it's your first time watching. Producer Kim, quote me, or uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You are off from today, end of today, so whenever you finish today, two o'clock, one, three, four o'clock, one o'clock, okay, half three, February. 
Half past three, she'll probably scootle off about three o'clock. No, she won't. Um, half past three. Today, your next day back in work is a week Friday. Friday the 17th of July. This is when Kimball comes back to work. So, you're s exactly, yourself and executive producer, Martha, who's currently on holiday, are not going to cross pa paths until a week Friday. Who's going to remember this deal on a week Friday? Apart from those of you who get it. Just don't tell Martha. Please don't tell Martha. In fact, no, tell her. She did it first. She should be reminded of her naughtiness. This is what executive producer Martha did. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're totally doing it. I'm so doing it. Don't do as you say. No. you got to say as you do, not do as you say. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Martha did it. We're copying. Nine pence, 95 pence. Boom! Why would you do that? It's spin you! This is even more than the white quartz. No disrespect to the white quartz, but that, that's not as rare as spinel. Spinel. Well, this is exactly what I was talking about. Perceived value. You could spend thousands of pounds on a black spinel or a red spinel. Well, let's stick with the black because that's what we've got. For a black spinel, you could spend a fortune, depending on whatever designers that worked with it, whatever store it's in, whether it's on Knightsbridge, whether it's Rue de Rol in Geneva. If you ever go to Geneva and you're lucky enough to go across Lake Geneva, you go across there and there's a... Have you been? It is beautiful, absolutely. And you go across and you can see the Swiss Alps when you're walking across the, the, the lake. You walk across a bridge. It's quite long, actually. It's quite a lovely walk. And then you get to the other side and there's a street called Rue du Rhin. And when you go on that street, oh my goodness gracious me, there are so many security guards inside and outside the doors with the most amazing jewellery shops. You will be blown away. And they use gemstones like amethyst and citrine with diamonds, with pearls. And it's so so beautiful but the price point you just it's it's unreal like you you feel like you need to be a multi-billionaire just to even step foot in the shop but they're lovely don't get me wrong the people are lovely the place is lovely although they tend to talk back to you in French uh, in English when you try and talk to them in French and I got an A in French and I thought I was actually quite com competent but evidently not so I just continued to speak in my version of French <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? I always try and speak the language of where I'm going holiday. I might be rotten at it, but at least I give it a wee go. It's amazing because we, we quite often go to ho on holiday to France and even the children now will have a try in French. Yeah. And it's amazing how much better you get on with people. They're, they're willing to try and help you a little bit more and go out their way a little bit more because you're trying. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter if you got it right or if you said something yeah. totally wrong. Yeah. They get what you mean or they think it gives them a wee giggle for the day. That's it. But at least you've tried. I used, that used to happen to me when I used to work in um, a store called Harrods in um, Knightsbridge in London. I used to work there when I was, um, what was it called? When I was studying, I was, I was there on a sort of weekend job um, uh, in between teaching at the, dance, at the school. And, um, and there are other, other shops like Jenner's and Harvey Nicks and Selfridges. But when I was there, the American people that came up to me and just spoke in their language, I had no idea what it was saying. No, not a scooby doo -dah. No. I just smiled and nodded. <laughs> yeah, 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 that way. <laughs> no, I didn't. I tried my best to help. I was quite good. I managed to work out, out of all of the people who were my colleagues, who spoke what languages, yeah. so I could guide them towards somebody who spoke their language. I was always, I was always able to do that. They loved me for it because it got them the chance to practice um, or speak their own language, which was lovely. Right, so you, oh yeah, I saw these earlier. Are these called barrels? Are they? Are they barrels? Okay. Uh, right. It's the fanciest looking barrel I've ever seen. <laughs> they are 9 by 7 mil to 13 by 8 mil. I love a good citrine. I thought this would have been um, lemon quartz in all honesty. Because it's so, so strong and it's lemons. And a lot of the times with citrine you struggle to get any lemons. You tend to get more of the oranges, don't you? You do. So the goldens. This is a lovely lemony colour. Actually looks like the sunshine. Like we've just captured the sun in a gem. How many gemstones can say that? Got a little bit of your citrine, you've got a little bit of your lemon quartz, maybe a yellow sapphire, maybe, or if you're fortunate enough to have a yellow diamond. <gasps> wow. It's going to sound ridiculous, but the other day I was going to the shops 
was taking the bin out on the way and I looked at myself in the lift because there was a mirror in the lift and I looked and I thought to myself I'm wearing pearls and my wee pearl brace on I'm wearing diamonds diamond ring on and I was wearing a yellow diamond pendant that I bought myself as my treat to myself from our sister channel and do you know how amazing I felt in my scuffs with my bin bag <laughs> and I was thought I've got a yellow diamond pendant on it's so possible. Anything is possible when it comes to genuine gemstones. And this company has made it happen. If it wasn't for this company, I would not have a scooby doo that I could treat my mum, for example, to rubies or Ceylon Sapphire or, or for example, Citrine. This is the first gemstone I bought myself from this company. And it still looks as gorgeous today as the day I bought it. It's a beautiful, I bought a heart shaped ring. And it was about £49. It was in gold. That was with staff discount. And it was a beaut. It's nowhere near the size of one of these stones. And it's not actually as clean as these stones, because 10 years ago, our clarity on our citrine was good, but it wasn't as good as it is now. And that's just through buying and experience and, and getting better suppliers or better mines or going to better locations. This is gorgeous. You can see the quality. You don't need me to do that. This is some of the finest citrine I've brought you for a very, very long time. I mean, it with no disrespect to the other citrines I may have brought you in the past. But I haven't had crystal clean, eye clean citrine like this for a long time. There's only one gem in this entire strand that has a slight inclusion. That's this one here. That I can see to the eye. And it actually looks pretty special. I don't think there's a need to hide inclusions. Mother Nature put them there. Mother Nature put them there for a reason. It's a genuine gem. If you decide you want to use that one for maybe a key ring and keep the others for pendants and earrings and jewelry, do that. But I will always point out something. And um, you may laugh at me, and regular viewers, you'll know me by now. I'm far too honest for my own good. But if I, I talk to you like I talk to my mum and like I talk to my dad or any of my friends, and if my friends were, were asking advice on something or are thinking about something, I always tell them how I would expect them to tell me. Because I would hate for you to get this home and think, every single one's eye clean, oh, but maybe that one's not. It's not guaranteed that they're all going to be eye clean, but what I've got here is, um, well, 99% eye clean. Now, we've already got a stunning price to come your way at 29.95. But now, Redeem, who's gone for three already and checked them out and confirmed them on the web, I'm going to reduce that price for you from $29.95 and call this Thursday Frenzy Clearance and give November's birthstone, it shares its birthstone with Topaz as well. A brilliant gem, the gem of happiness, the sunshine gem in a Thursday Frenzy. We were taking it down to $21.95. Boom, boom, shake, shake the room. Now, just one of those would be beautiful on a pearl piece, on a, any piece, whether it be peach pearls, those yeah. wonderful peach uh, mother pearl that you had earlier. Definitely. Um, just the, they've got so much personality to them because of the size of them, because of the faceting and the clarity and the colour. So you can just use as few as you want. A one, I can see one working beautifully, one of the larger ones, in a very simple, if you've got the... Um, Chain the, the chain, yeah. yeah. With a tassel at the bottom, simple neckline piece, maybe doubled up chain around the neckline, tassel, and just mm -hmm. one of those as the focal. Just very, very classic, very easy to wear. Make it nice and long so you can wear it over your chunky knits in winter, over your maxi dresses in summer. Yeah, you've got And great. you've got a piece that you can wear all season, all year long. Love it. This looks amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen it, with this going to sound crazy, but antique bronze wire. Yeah, I know. Antique bronze wire. Maybe smoky quartz and turquoise. Put that together as a, a rich little Christmas piece. It will look divine. The only reason I know that, I didn't come up with that. It's a necklace I got for my 21st birthday. And it's got turquoises, smoky quartz, citrines in there. And it's the sort of antique bronze and it's, it's coloured metal. It is a beaut. If you manage to get that, well done. That is some of the finest citrine. Well, you'll know that. You don't need me to tell that if you have a regular viewer. But for anyone who's a new viewer, then that, that's something that you might not have seen for a while. Lemon Now these... Well, I don't think a nugget quite, quite describes it. I think these are more... <gasps> the weight of them! 
The other one looks like a diamond, doesn't it? <laughs> I just look like a pair of pants from there. <laughs> it does, look at it. <laughs> Even more so from this side. <laughs> Oh, if someone gets this and make a pair of gemstone pants, I would actually love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> you have got whoppers. Oh, in all fairness, yeah, who was that? Linda that made that. It was, wasn't it? Linda made a gemstone thong for our boss, Steve, to wear. Yes, a gentleman. As you do. Well, there we go. <laughs> These are fine. Should we have a wee calculation, a wee count of how many you've got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, approximately, approximately. 13.9 mil to 29.38 mil. Now, obviously, you may get more or less depending on how many big ones you get, how many wee ones you get, how many pairs of pants you get. Um, on your craft stall, just to, to show where you get other fast, I mean, sh you could show the difference between your fasted lemon quartz and your nuggets of lemon quartz. But you might look at this and think, Ali, I'm not buying a strand just to show off other stones. That can change the price point you can command on something. It really can. How you display something massively changes. And if you can show different variations of the one gem, different qualities, might be an idea. Maybe you've been struggling to sell some beautiful lemon quartz that you've got at home. And you think, I don't understand why people don't get the beauty of it. Maybe if you show them an example of a rough form of it and then the beauty of what you've got, or maybe use it as an example to display your lemon pearls on if you were to make yourself a little, I don't know, lemon quartz mountain and display your lemon pearls. Doesn't mean you can't then use the stones. So I have um, a candle that's in between a couple of photos. It's just a pillar candle on a glass mm -hmm. stand and I have lots of Ooh. of these sorts of gemstones. I've bought strands like this before of rose quartz and things like that and I just have the odd ones that I've got left. I've used some to make beautiful pieces of jewellery mm -hmm. and then I've got a few left and I just literally put them around the bottom of the candles. When you light the candles they beautifully catch that light and it all oh, sparkle. Wow. So you know if you want to use them for your home decor type you know and things as well. Gosh as a cord, a yeah. light pool. Yeah you can do. I was looking at prices of, uh, this was ridiculous the other day, I was in, where was I? I can't remember. I was in a shop and they were looking at the um, the the prices of sort of fasted sort of plastic um, to be ring yeah. um, light pools. Oh yeah, you can pay a fortune. Genuine lemon. I'm taking the pearls away for now. Genuine lemon quartz. Beauts. And wonderful drill holes. We're going down multi bit in there. Can I really say that? 450 carats. That's probably the highest carat weight with the lowest price so far today. Whoppers or whoppers? Imagine you had some lapis lazuli with that. Mm. I like it and I like it a lot. Love, love, love it. Treated yourself, treated someone else. Vella, lovely to see you. It was great to have you on the weekend. And of course, the, on the Sunday experience, I hope you're well. Um, I hope you're still making that. Oh my gosh, I tried Guinness cake, right? I didn't think I would like it. And, and Zella knew this because I told her, because I, I don't have, I've not really had alcohol um, ever really. Missed out on that most of my life. Um, usually running about, prancing about, doing something else. So, um, I tried this cake and I said to Zell, I'm not very good with alcohol, so I'll, please accept my apologies. I probably won't like it, but tried it. Absolutely loved it. Chocolate and Guinness cake. It was oh. divine. Oh my gosh. Could not get enough of it. I had to stop. <laughs> Couldn't fit it in. It was just amazing. Um, so yeah, Zell's showing an interest. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to, to tune in and lovely to see you. Right. Oh! It's a wee bit high pitch, sorry. <laughs> Mm. Where to look first? The jewellery or what we've got? I'll show you what we've got first. I've got your three S on cords, and I get oh, this one I've got for my naughty my pearls, my champagne pearls. Whoa! <laughs> Oops, it's alive. It is alive. I'm going to finish naughty my pearls tonight. I didn't get round to it yesterday. I ended up doing housework. Very boring. Yeah, boring. Doing. It did need doing. Yeah. I was tripping over everything. Oh. I was like, I should probably just sort this out. 
So anyway, this is lovely with your champagne pearls. It's a tiny wee note in between. Lovely. Yeah. Anyway, um, great signs as well. I believe that'll probably be your point four, and these I imagine will be your point nine. I haven't got the information on them as yet, but um, I will I will feel, fill you in when I get it. Heart of the Ocean. 135 carats of natural hematite plain hearts. Uh-huh, eight millimeter. Let's have a look at these. Woo! Then I've also got silver colored hematite hearts. And I have them in varying sizes. Say what? Are we in love or are we in love? <laughs> and it's not just because I've got hearts. Look at all this. Sorry, Kerry, I got a wee bit excited there. <laughs> they're lovely and cold. I love genuine gems. I love the fact that you know they're genuine, especially the fact that they're cold, it helps. Right, so size-wise, you're looking at a mixture of six millimeter and five millimeter hearts. The silver ones, you've also got seven millimeter and eight millimeter. So seven, eight, five, and six. Six for the natural, it's these ones, and five for the silver. So graduating at each size, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, seven, eight. Put it in order. There we go. Each one is roughly a 38 cent, oh, it is a 38 centimeter strand approximately. Your cords I've just checked are 0.9 millimeter for the blue and the navy and the lark it's called is 260 meters in that one. It's 0.3. Uh, please accept my apologies. It's, it's better though, because I thought it was 0.4. It's even smaller. It's 0.3 It mil. goes through the gemstones beautifully several times. Oh, so it'll fit through your pearls. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, and then you get your beading thread, monofilament, and elastic there. Beading thread is lovely, and the new um, thinner gauge as well. We are looking at your 0.8 for your elastic mill, and um, all the other gauges are on the website if I haven't already read them out. And that's a silver coloured beading thread pack. Price point should be. Is that all? £38.10. That's an amazing price. Yeah? Yeah. So it's a normal jewellery maker price. If we add up each strand individually, it's five, four strands. You're three strands of cords. One's 260 metres at 0.3 mil. The other two are 32 metres at 0.9 mil. And then your beading threads and monofilaments and elastic. We're going down to. $24.95. To be fair, it was that low we couldn't really take much off it, could we? I, think, I think the fact you've even reduced the price is amazing. Um, have a look at what sade has been making. And if you weren't already in love with everything we've got to offer, these designs are going to give you so much inspiration. Did you have fun working with these, Sarah? I did. They're did great you? fun. Um, the cords are beautiful to work with. It's great having the gemstones in two different colour tones into those two different sizes as well because they can just mix and match them as in, as you want to. Absolutely. Um, and hearts are the one thing that sells so well. Um, even if you just make little earrings, we have made a couple of pairs that are quite yeah, simple have. there. Um, even the earrings, they sell so well. The, the things that people pick up all the time for friends, you know, again, those gifts at the end of the year, um, whether you just want simple jewellery to take on holiday that's going to go with everything because of the colour tone in here, it's just going to match everything. So if you just... Self-explanatory, yeah. isn't it? The, the heart, you don't yeah. really need to... It, it, well, we know what it is. Yeah. Um, you've got an opportunity to show us a wee treat of uh -huh. what you've been working on. Okay. Before we do that, uh -huh. though, I'm going to reduce the price. <gasps> you ready? Are you steady? <laughs> No. I don't know if I, I don't know what I mean either. <laughs> I'm not saying it like I am, totally not. Oh. Ten pounds off. A huge set that's what a third of the price off you've just taken? Not shy off. Well oh, thirty eight pounds ten. I don't know why I was thinking thirty one pounds ten. Well it's over a third of the price off. Over a third off. Not shy off half that's sixteen pounds fifty you've got of a saving. Wow. Do you know what? That's amazing. It is. You can actually have got that turquoise and one of the other strands for that, for what you've saved. Yeah. Brilliant. <gasps> oh, right. brilliant. Wait, see that. I'll let you take okay, it Okay, so we're going to do the little ring that's there. Yes. Oh, the let's get that ring. For you. Yeah, just, just to show how you can make something quite quite simple and make your gemstones go a long way. These these always, again, is another great seller. Um, and you can have them pre-made up, just not finished, so you can actually then change the size for people. So you can ah. have a display one and then have several made up 
on your thread and all you have to do is put the crimp on to the right size. Ah, perfect. So maybe just put a bead stopper on the end yep. so they don't slip off. That's and, it. Or just a wee knot if you don't have the bead yeah. stoppers we had yesterday. And you can make these with various whatever you findings you happen to have at home. So on this, on that one I've used the little um, spaces that are like uh, four little balls that are joined together. Oh yes, to the yes. Whereas on this one I'm going to use the little flower spaces so it'll just look slightly different. Ah, okay. Um, so it's just whatever you happen to have in your findings box yeah. will work perfectly. And what you do is you start off with a piece of beading thread and what you're going to do is you're going to add your spaces and it's important you put some spaces in the middle because otherwise the hearts won't sit properly and they won't ah. form properly. Okay. And I kind of did it on uh, two different colour tones, so a bit, bit like yin and yang, having ah. the two colour tones on yes. either side of the ring. And all I've done is put one of the larger hearts on either side of my spaces. And then what I'm going to do is take another piece of beading thread and go through all three of my spacer beads. Okay. It's important to add your first set of beads so you know which um, side of your beading thread are going to what side of your ring. Ah, okay. And just get this last one through, not behaving itself. Um, I think they take liberties when they know you're not looking at them close and personal. Yeah, they know you, normally you have to look at them from a there distance. They're thinking, ha ha, I'll, I'll be mischievous right. right now. Okay, so I know those two sides of my thread go to one side because they've not got any beads on. And these two with the beads go to the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on threading on. So I'm going to add two smaller um, hearts on either side of mm -hmm. this thread. So I'll just show on you the, the one. Thread. Yeah, I'm just going to show you what I've done previously so you can see. Right, bring the next one in. Okay, so here's the original part that I did. So I've got my large hearts. I've added two hearts on either side. And then through a third small heart, I've put both of my beading thread and added another two small hearts. So that's one side of my ring complete. And I've mirrored exactly the same oh, on the so opposite pretty. side with the darker hearts. So that's you can see how that's lovely sit. that you've got that graduation of the sizes to be able to have that, that lovely heart graduation. That's so pretty. So if I was going to a fair and I had wanted to have these ready, this is what I would have threaded. Right. Would be that part there. I would then be able to size the, the to somebody's um, ring finger. And if it needed to be bigger or smaller, Aha. so if you lift up your centre finger, because you've got very delicate fingers. There we go, just pop it round there. So that's probably going to be just about, if maybe a little bit big. So what I could do is take one of the hearts out and I could I change. have got the scrawniest fingers in the world. That's okay. What I can do is if you had some smaller spacers, let's try that now, push that down. That's Yay! actually going to fit now. So what we're going to do is use one of my crimp beads and if you find it w it's not quite the right size for a whole of the smaller hearts, if you use something like um, some of the smaller silver spaces that we've had in some of the matrix boxes are mm -hmm. really dainty spacer beads. They're about one mil. Mm -hmm. You can then just add as many as you need to make up the ring size ah. um, to the or to the next heart so that you can get everybody's ring size perfect. Or just use a couple of extra crimp beads if you yep. wanted to. So I'm going to bring that through. I'm going to pull all my threads together. I'm going to make sure all of these are really nice and tight. It does take a bit of doing, so just pull each thread in turn because what you don't want is any gaps in between your gemstones. Just pull all of those like that. Get your flat pliers. Now what I always do with my flat pliers is make sure there's enough room for me to get in there because that will mean the width of my plier at the end here is big enough for me to get my crimp cover on. Okay. If, I, if you pull it too tight, you won't get your crimp cover over the crimp and we don't want a, an exposed crimp there. No, and then never want an exposed crimp. Not unless you're buying jewellery from a particular street in Marylebone who sell a bracelet which is S on cord with five crimps squashed as the design. So there we go. For you 30 pop, pop that onto your tiny mm. little finger, it should fit. Yeah, so you may just need to teeny fingers roll that down. That yeah, go on that little one. There we go. Yay! And there you go. And then you can play around with it once you've got it crimped to get the hearts to sit flat so they will all sit flat again. Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't. It's alright, it's just because... I'm rushing. A I did it quickly. <laughs> but they will all sit flat against the skin and you get that sort of alternation of colour. Really easy to do. Oh, so fun and so pretty. And you might even want to substitute the spacers if you don't have any for maybe yeah. a gem, if you've got a wee gemstone. That's it. Yeah, you could use something like um, 
uh, an elongated rice bead or something like that, something that's quite, you got want something quite narrow, but it's got a, you know, um, a bit of length to it, yes. Yeah. So that will just work beautifully in the centre. As long as you can take two strands of beading thread, yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, perfect. Sarah, thank you so oh, much. We love it. All the pictures will be going up on the website. Try and check that out as soon as you can. I'm going to nip over for a spotlight deal, and it's the brand new Moonstone. <laughs> I've got 117 stock. If you wonder why I look over there, it's to producer Kimbo. Where the price goes low, Kimbo. No other producer would go so low because it is Kimbo, Kimbo. Oh, yes, she runs the show. It's Kim. Oh, yes, she goes so low, Kimbo. We really love her show, Kimbo. This could go on forever, Kimbo. Because she's just so cool. <laughs> need to put that on your producer page yep absolutely Kim right producer Kim she does take the price exceptionally low because she runs the show haha <laughs> it's our Kimbo right four by two millimeters to eight by two millimeter brand new wait till you see these wow now that is everything you look for in a minute I'm not hiding any it's just so I can try and hold it um for you but I'll move it along the entire strat isn't it amazing I'll move it along from end to end for you so there's one end just to give me something to grip onto. Wow, as we move it along. <laughs> Look at this, it's like lightning almost, isn't it? Wow, so all the way along, you have just got this phenomenal, already in basket, it's so great to see you, all the way through to the other end. There you go, graduating this entire strand and you're seeing it in a white light against a white background which is probably one of the worst ways ever to show off this gemstone amelia you're not going to love me right now is there, in fact don't worry i'm going to i'm going to um what's it called i am going to improvise here we go have a look wow I love Woof. Every I can't speak, I'm just making noises. All I can think of is all these phenomenal colours shooting out. Lilacs and pink and it's not just because I'm looking at Kerry's amazing hair. There are lilacs and pinks coming out of these moonstones. There's greens coming out of these as well. This is just a rainbow of colour. Funnily enough, it's called Rainbow Moonstone for that reason full of inclusions and we love that about it because if we didn't have inclusions we wouldn't have the oh gosh that one's got pink and um, a really really sort of coppery color peachy pink in there um if we didn't have that we wouldn't get these colors we wouldn't get this explosion of shiller is what it's known as um i love it i adore it or venture essence you might want to call it inclusions within a gemstone that make it shimmer we love 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 it are you ready to own it it's brand new is it what was sorry? I thought this was twenty four ninety five. You'd happily pay that, so would I. What would you think, Sarah? What would you happily pay for a brand new moonstone? Oh, oh certainly I would expect that to be up a quote for twenty pounds personally yeah. because of the tones that are coming out of that from the from the moonstone. Just amazing. It's just huge. Pure shiller, the explosion yeah. of all the different rainbows of colour. You've got it all, haven't you? you? Have. Got everything you look for in a moonstone. Yeah, and it's just full of life and that all oh, that shiller. It's just amazing. I love that. I, I love using that with all my different colour gemstones. Oh gosh, yeah. Exactly go with everything. Um, what do you reckon? Price point wise? Well, it's going under twenty pounds. You probably guessed that if you were on the web already. I E C I forty eight. Sounds like I was doing my eyes and my vowels there. I E C I. I E C I 48 is a code 12 pounds and 85 pence. Boom, boom. Shake, shake the room. You would not expect that to be on a Thursday frenzy, would you? A brand new spotlight deal. Well, there you diddly go. Love it. Devon's in. Two in Devon, actually, on the phone lines and on the web. Wiltshire's with us. Yorkshire's with us. Fife is with us. Oh, I'm having a Yorkshire pudding on Sunday and I cannot wait. Oh, yes. 
Fife's with us, Essex is with us, Yorkshire again, Cumbria is there, West Midlands, Lincolnshire, Hampshire, Berkshire, Cheshire, West Yorkshire, great to have you through. Thank you so much for joining us today. Gail's there, multi-bids coming through from Greater London. Uh, Elise, I hope I've said that correctly, in South Yorkshire. Gail, well done to you. Andrea's in. I've got Ninetta, Josephine. Pauline, I've got new callers. We've got Michelle and Heather. Sylvia was first in in Cumbria. Loving your work. Carol's in the West Midlands. I'm, I live in the West Midlands. Oh, no, I don't know. Well, I live in Warwickshire. Is that class as the West Midlands? It is, isn't it? It is today. <laughs> <laughs> Judith's in in West Sussex. Lovely to see you and great to have you. Jan's out in Worcestershire. Where in Worcestershire, so Warwickshire, so West Midlands? Oh, there's a beautiful place to have food in Worcestershire. It's called the Jockey Inn. It's amazing. And they do a dessert called the Seven Sins, Sarah. And the Seven Sins dessert has seven desserts <gasps> on one plate. Oh, my goodness. What big, big desserts? It's a one. low, it, well, two big scoops of ice cream. They count as a dessert each. Mm. Well, one scoop of ice cream, one scoop of sorbet. They're delicious. There was a rice pudding, there was a bread and butter pudding, there was a chocolate fudge, there was a sticky toffee pudding, there was a cheesecake. How many is that? Is that seven? That's loads. Apple, there was an apple, hot apple pie. Ooh. I went twice, so I might have confused the two puddings. <laughs> <laughs> On different days. I'm not that bad. Well, probably am, actually. Check those out as soon as you can. That is a brand new strand, and that is £12.95. And I know I'm just stating facts, but I think they're awesome facts. Um, it's time for the Wall of Fame. Are you ready for this? Wow. Sorry, just been looking at everything you've been making. These are amazing. I have a not too dissimilar bracelet to this. I love this displayed on sort of brown leather. That looks lovely. Have a looky looky here. This is from Tracy in Northern Ireland. Hi, Tracy. Um, sorry, I just shortened your name like we're best friends. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Um, Hi, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. A bracelet made from 10mm tiger's eye and gold coloured copper wire. Everything is from GM, of course. Love the show with all the great bargains and the great designers and presenters and crew. Good luck to everyone. And Tracy from Northern Ireland, you are number. One, two, seven. Love it. Sorry, Kenny, I was trying to read the number. <laughs> Poor Kenny's thinking, where is this going? <laughs> um, best of luck to you. Love that. And you'll be able to wear that all the time. Love oh, those. An amazing suite of jewellery here. That's 128. What I was at. There's a lot of work has gone into this. And this is from Angela, and she's in Cleveland in the UK. And uh, she says, hi, all at JM. Please find my end first entry to the wall of fame wow. Whoa. Um, I started watching about eight weeks ago and haven't laughed so much in years oh. it was a fab show with Jenny oh, um, always since then I've been watching almost daily and slowly building up my skills plus tools and gemstone stash thanks to all your brilliant designers and great prices it's uh, great I can message the studio with any query too uh, it's my first ever make. I made earrings, bracelet, hair slide and cuff, all using JM wire findings together with JM crackle quartz and beads from my from an old necklace. Mm. I hope uh, it's okay, so it's not the best, but um, I'm so proud of I made it myself. Aww. Well, I think it's amazing. Right. So do I. Um, here's hoping it makes it onto the wall of fame. Good luck to all and for any newbie, don't be afraid, have a go. And that's from Angela in Cleveland in the UK. Definitely. Love it, Angela. Just, just get in there and have a go. If you're starting out, don't be afraid. A lot of work is going into that. Oh, Thank amazing. you so much. Well done, Angela. I'm hoping anybody who made anything yesterday took a picture of it because it was Wolf Wednesday. I expect to see what you're working on. <laughs> uh, finished or not. Uh, I've got 129 now. This, I'm wondering this was a lot of binding workshop idea. Morning all. This is from Julie. Uh, this is my first ring I've made and it's based on the wonderful Laura Bindings Tree of Life ring. I hope it's good enough for the Wall of Fame. It's made from all JM products. The three mil beads are little devils to hold on to but the cat had great fun chasing them. Good luck to everyone and fingers crossed for a win. Two kisses from Julie. Oh Julie I love it. Well done you. I know they can be a right pain can't they? they can. I was Sticky crawling around. Yeah I need one every time <laughs> I get one they sell out. I know. They, 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 my kids love 
love the sticky bee pads because they can just put their stuff there and it doesn't move. So they're quite a little bit designing See, yeah, things. Your, uh, your kids are less adventurous than me. I'd be picking it up, throwing it against the wall, <laughs> sticking it to all the walls. Oh, well, they have tried doing that as well. <laughs> it's not just well, me then. Boys will be boys. <laughs> um, I'm a girl. I did it as well. Yeah, oh no, I'm a fun. boy at heart. Um, 130 here, what amazing oh, piece of wow. wire work. Um, really and special. this is uh, Teresa, and she says she's in a very hot and sticky Germany at the moment. Oh. Um, hi all, um, not sent anything in for a while as I've been poor late, but I oh. hope you're feeling better. Um, and I, oh, she's just been diagnosed with osteoarthritis. Oh, oh dear. Um, well, I hope you know you're on getting some good treatment for that uh, but I'm not giving into it so here is my latest Absolutely. make um, stick in there Teresa definitely um, I used a turquoise cabochon and turquoise crystals all brought together with silver plated wire uh, everything from JM apart from the crystals and I only use those because uh, I haven't got any small sea beads in turquoise at the moment <laughs> no, um, do we. any chance of JM getting some please um, I don't think I'd be able to master wire work but practice makes perfect and I love the results I'm now getting good luck to everyone on the wall of fame um, I think we're all winners already yes. uh, as we get to use great gemstones and watch the great presenters and designers on JM oh. and thanks that's from Teresa in Germany Oh, amazing. lovely Teresa, and well done you, and keep at it. Mm. Um, we'll do some turquoise after the break. They won't be as small as the, the beads that you've used, but they will be some nugget sizes, so it might be a wee option for you. It's the first natural turquoise we've had on for a wee while, aside from the drops, so hopefully you'll love it. I was in Germany not so long ago. I went to Hamburg for the first time at 30 oh. years old and thoroughly enjoyed it. I need to go back for the... Oh, I can't remember how to say it, but it was a really fancy style of bread from Hamburg, which had cinnamon in it. It was lovely. Mm, that's gorgeous. <laughs> um, it was good. I always go for food. What's wrong with me? Right, 131. Um, nothing, my dad would say. Right, hi guys. This week, uh, this week's entry is a wire wrapped ring with a gorgeous labradorite pear-shaped gem. It's the first one I have, which has purple and pink flashes through it. All materials from JM, I've had to rush off to continue making a Viking knit necklace for my daughter's friend as a birthday present. So good luck to everybody, and that's from Julie out in Thornton Heath. Lovely, Julie, and I think you've really chosen a beautiful wire to compliment those pinks and purples. Well done, you, uh, and I love it. You've got your bead on pliers there. <laughs> Much cutters, it looks like. Love it. That's a different way to display it as well. You're number 131. Best of luck to you all. You'll all be entered into the draw. We have five more designs Ooh. to show you. Oh, some very interesting treats to show you coming up on the other side of a very short break, which we'll be telling you how to, in fact, what will it be telling you? Lots of different information about gemstones. It's not going to tell you how to get anything. It's just <laughs> going to tell you about gemstones. Um, talking about gemstones, I'm going to be bringing you my presenter's pick, which is this beauty. Vesuvianite, named after one of the locations where it was first found, Mount Vesuvius. It's a beaut of a gemstone. You may have heard it called Ida Craze before, but either way, it's coming your way as my presenter's pick for you. It's brand new, it's coming on the other side. Uh, say about 12 o'clock we'll do this for you. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna recap your turquoise for you. It might even recap some rubies if there's any left. Ruby capture, I know. Don't even know how we had them. Lots and lots coming up with more from our gorgeous Sarah on the other side of a very short break telling you about gemstones. <laughs> Not how to do anything. <laughs> The burning heart of Oregon is now available to you in this stunning new collection. American Fire Opal, the finest discovery. Rose quartz is just so pretty and feminine, so it's really easy to put it in jewelry. And another one like Amethyst, you know, people recognize it, people know it. There's a lot of lovely myths and legends behind it as well. And I think you can put it in bridesmaids jewelry. If you mix it with colours like Amazonite, it looks really pretty, really classic. I just think it makes soft, summery jewellery, and I like that about it. Rose quartz is a gemstone which I love in equal measures. Um, firstly, because of its myth and legend, and also because of the way that it looks. The myth and legend of the gemstone, the fact that it's the gemstone of romance, of partnerships, uh, the gemstones of uh, friendships as well. Um, the way that it looks, the quality that you can get from Jewelry Maker is superb. We seem to get that really, really fine balancing act of colour and clarity. We seem to get that mixture just right. It's a fantastic gem and you can get it in some amazing carat weights as well. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. 
but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the genuine gemstone company. Before any of the gemstones that arrive here in Jaipur can leave Jaipur for the UK, they need to be tested. So all the genuine gemstone strands go from the vendor to an independent laboratory. They're then tested to prove that they are what they say they are. Now as you can see here, this shipment of emerald arrived this morning and it comes with this. This is really important. This shows that the emerald has been tested in random strands and can be proven to be genuine emerald. If this authenticity card doesn't arrive with the genuine gemstone, then the shipment won't go to the UK. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. video was actually from this company and act genuinely from the call centre. I know what, I've seen all of them, I've met them all throughout the years. Isn't that amazing? Sometimes you see like videos where you say, oh yeah, come and join us, but you don't know them, you've never seen them before. But they all genuinely, you could talk to any one of those people because they are genuinely at this company. That's awesome. They're not just really good looking people. Um, right. Turquoise, I launched it as your early bird. I'm Ali, if you just tuned in. Sarah is our guest designer today. Oh, we're ever so lucky to have her. I have 50 in baskets. Not to mention, um, many of you who haven't even seen it yet because you might not have been with me at 9am, where were you? That's alright, don't worry about it, I'll still offer you the treat. I've only got what's left though. Still space for you, don't worry, sorry I've got a wee bit of coconut in my mouth. <laughs> Trying not to choke on it. Um, you've got 5 by one to 11 it's totally natural, 100% natural. 5x1 to 11 by one millimeter for you, 26 centimeter for you in your length. You are getting genuine turquoise, which has a really, really fascinating surface. With this gemstone, gosh, dates back to, to 5, what, 5600 BC, this gemstone, where the Egyptians used to have it. It's a gem that in the, the in the 70s, actually, the Wall Street Journal reported turquoise was on a par with diamonds as one of the hottest investments. Now, obviously, that was a Wall Street Journal in the 70s but still on a par with, with diamonds for investment. I mean, that's an amazing, bold statement to make, isn't it? It is. And if you're going to read it from the Wall Street Journal, it's somewhere where a lot of people would go and read that, and, and they would read it and put a lot of faith into that. Um, this has the most beautiful and desirable effect, desired by many, many, mainly in America, actually. Mainly connoisseurs in America would go for the pyrites coming through uh, and having this wonderful mix of black matrix and brown matrix and reds and whites and you've got that. Many people in Asia prefer, or, or the Asian culture at the time, and I, I'm, I'm talking about originally when sort of turquoise was in the market, preferred the Sleeping Beauty turquoise without any matrix, matrix without any sort of um, markings on it, without any webbing on it or without any pyrites in it. But if I flip this round for you, you can see not only in mine or Sarah's, and bear in mind this is Sarah's challenge as well. So if you're looking at it, you think, oh, I don't know what to do. do. Um, Sarah is going to have a wee play with it at some point, if she gets a second, to be fair, um, to show you an idea and give you some more inspiration of what you might do if you haven't already uh, spied and decided to go for it. Lots and lots of multi bids. 300 had already gone this morning. I only had 550. I appreciate it's still the morning. 
but I've only got between 250 uh, with 15 baskets. If everybody checks out, you'd be, be there's more in baskets now already. Pamela's in, and Somerset, and Beverly's in, and Marion. Great to see you. So what you're getting here. It's a more sort of traditional colour of turquoise. So when you get the more traditional colour, it tends to be that you've got more copper within it. When you get more of the greens in it, that means you've, you've, you tend to have a little bit more of the green from the iron. So green gives you more iron in it. Iron gives you more green in colour and copper gives you more of the sort of traditional turquoise colour. The reason it was called the turquoise, do you know why? I love that. I literally heard a creak of a chair there. Just silence <laughs> and a creak of a chair. So originally, to import this to Europe, it used to be imported from Turkey. So it was therefore called Turkish stone, because it was Turkey where we used to go, uh, where we used to get it from. So that's why it was called turquoise from that. But that, of course, now has become a colour in its own right. Uh, it's the only gemstone out of the Bristol gems that has its name derived from its colour. What you're getting is a very special gem, December's birthstone. Shares its birthday with your uh, zircon, and he said with your turquoise, is turquoise. Shares its birthday with your tanzanite and your zircon. It's a great gem to put with tanzanite. Triclinic structure and a very waxy, sort of lustrousy surface, which is what many of us look for. It's a beautiful treat. Um, and the way it's created is when sort of water runs down the side of rocks, in igneous rocks, um, and it tends to sort of soak in. And then when that sort of I guess quickly evaporates, the rapid drying reduces the essential chemicals um, and then that then tends to um, catalyse and turn it into, um, for many, many years obviously, your turquoise. Now, you can get really, really soft turquoise if you, you're at the surface of the rock, but if you go sort of 100 feet in, you're then looking at the harder turquoise, which is sort of five, six in the most harness scale, which you can put into your gemstone jewellery. Lots and lots of you have got this already. Price point's coming in. It's ridiculous. It's a giveaway price point, in my mind. Bear in mind we had turquoise the other day, natural turquoise in drops, it went £140, and quite rightly so. They were fasted drops, obviously as I was just spoken about, it's quite difficult to get good quality turquoise that you can actually facet, or, or chips that you can get. Now, it's that pyrite that you're seeing there that I've never presented before in turquoise, and, and love it. Absolutely love it. Love that, well done. Right, lapis lazuli. Oh gosh, it's quite heavy. And that's not just the bust, it's sort of top heavy because the amount of lapis lazuli. Look at those blues. And talking of pyrite, you've got the most amazing faceted pyrites through there. We've got three strands for you, really intense in blue. I'm imagining they might have a little bit of dyeing going on there to get that intensity of that royal blue. Yep, they're all dyed. What I would advise you to do is when you get them home, just give them a wee wash with a sort of non-perfumed soapy water just get any excess dye off as you would if you're dyeing anything you just give it a wee wash um, and then that's you 10 millimeter 12 millimeter fasted and 12 millimeter plain you get all of them 300 carats for the 10 mil and 400 carats for the 12 mil that are fasted and the unfasted 12 mil are 430 carats isn't that crazy 30 carats is removed by faceting Done away, so you know it's a lot, wasn't it? it 30 is. carats, it is, it is just proves how much waste there is on a gem if you facet it, yeah. Which is therefore in turn why faster gems tend to be higher in price than unfasted stones. That's it, but it's lovely to have the combination, most definitely, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a pure luxury we've got, yeah. right? Let's get these off and have a closer look at them. Can you go wrong with the regal royal blues? I don't think so. Oh. Always makes me think of ladies of sort of um, sophistication. You know exactly who I'm going to say, don't you? Our Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. A beaut of a sapphire she has, isn't it? It is. It's or amazing. Sir, late Diana's. It's a beaut of a ring. But when I ever, when I, I ever see sort of sapphire blue, Ceylon blue, or rich blues, it makes me think class and sophistication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It's really elegant. Does it make you think that? Or no? Yeah. I, I, I love these deep blues anyway, and I think they, they, they are very regal and very opulent. I just think they're gorgeous. And you, it doesn't matter if you want to use, you know, change the look by just changing the look of uh, the tones of your metals that you use. So I always think when you use gold, it's a very Egyptian feeling, but then you put the silver with it, it just changes it and lifts and lightens it and gives you a very modern and contemporary feel to it. Absolutely. I was reading just yesterday, and forgive me because I've forgotten the name of the article. Um, 
It's a luxury article, though, and it's telling you, it's a luxury article that tells you what to spend your millions on. Not that I have millions, I just like to nosy and see what people can spend. Like, well, it's a, it's a magazine for those of you who, who have more money, really, than required, and they buy things like a shadow yacht. You heard of a shadow yacht? Do you know what a shadow yacht is? A shadow yacht is a yacht that follows a billion or a million pound yacht to carry your helicopters, extra yachts and extra cars behind your own yacht. <laughs> so shadow yacht is about 60 million pounds. If my memory was correct from the shadow yacht luxury company I saw the other day. I could not believe it. You've got a yacht to shadow your own yacht <laughs> with a yacht on it. <laughs> so that's the kind of website I was looking at to spend your luxury money. You have money and you can just luxury treat yourself to anything you want. What do you spend your money on? And it was talking about blue gems. And it was all about blue gemstones. And there was lapis lazuli, and there was turquoise, and there was apatites, and there was sapphires in there as well. And it was a lovely collection. And topaz, blue topaz was in there. And it was all what to spend your millions on. And it says, for the moment, blue gems are the way to go. So there you go. I'll, um, I'll post a link to the article. if, And if I forget, message me. But I'll try and do it today when I get home. Or I'll at least post, post the pictures from the article for you so you can see. Um, but the Lapis Lazuli collection, it's all blue, it's the colour we're talking about. We love Lapis Lazuli. What can I bring you price point wise? What is it? £16.95. Well, I can't afford a shadow yacht, but I think I can afford that. But just in case I'm not too sure, because I might go for something else today, can we lower the price? <gasps> I want to put it with the amethysts. Oh, look at that. Do you like it? £12.95. Boom, boom, shake, shake the room. That wouldn't even pay for a tiny bit of fuel for my shadow yacht. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, oh. Right, pearls, would you put it with pearls? Yes, definitely. Pearls go with absolutely all gemstones and that just really lifts that, you know, and it's gonna have that, allow the sort of blue tones to have a, a sort of almost a punctuation with pearls. I think that's beautiful. Mm. Nautical as you like. It's made me think of Hannah, um, Hannah Osborne, that does. She loves the nautical stripes, doesn't she? She does. Love these. Kathleen's in Buckinghamshire. Sue and Judith and Tracy out in Malaga. Lovely to see you, Tracy. Oh, gosh, you've got some treats this morning. Alison's in London. Margaret and Julie. I've got new collars. Worcester shirt looks on. Blue Eleanor showing an interest. Thank you very much. Love it. Oops. Love, love, love. Enjoy. Emeralds. Can you hold on a minute with the graphics? Hold on. Oh, you're in. Trust me and dial now. This is unreal. Totally natural emeralds. I'll try and get your head around this because I'm still struggling. 0800 644 655. This is not right. There are 90 in stock. It's a full over 50 carats strand. Totally natural emeralds. Wait till you see these. Wait. Oh, look how long this is. This is so wrong. 38 centimetres. What's wrong about it is the price point that's coming in. I don't want you to imply a value or worth. I don't want to do that. It's not my job. It's not what I'm here for. It's not what Sarah's here for. We're just here to enjoy it and give you great opportunities. 55 carats. 38 centimetre strand. The size of these in the middle are four by one mil. They start at three by one mil. So they graduate, but they only graduate by one millimeter. Very sizable. I don't want to give anything away, but I'm going to. If you were um, to maybe in a few weeks time when Alice and Harry's new DVD comes out, a box set of three where the first one was filmed this morning, you will need some stones like these. Oh yes, you shall. Oh, you don't need them. You could use an alternative, but these would be ideal. And we've only done the first four star signs, and the first four star signs could all incorporate stones just like these. Perfect sizes for the particular DVDs on the part one disc. We haven't done part two or three. We're gonna do that on Monday, Tuesday. Mm. 
if I can get myself out of bed at 5am again on Monday or Tuesday. But I'm sure knowing what Alison Tyree is working with, I will definitely be here with bells on. John and Janet are in Hannah's in. I've got Greater London, Wiltshire, Sussex. You are about to own 55 carats of totally natural emeralds. Do we have a location by any chance? They're just, it almost looks like a mix. Brazilian emeralds. I was gonna say, you've got some hues that are like your Colombian emeralds. Channel set, they would be lovely, absolutely. And that's exactly, absolutely, Kerry, my director Kerry just said, isn't that what Alison did this morning? You will love. Did I hear correctly that we have some? Can I see it? Because it'll match the colour of this, won't it? I have got some. That is not a word I've ever heard you use to describe a gemstone. I have some abalone. Abalone. And my producer, um, my producer Kim has just said they are fit. A pack of three cabochons of abalone. Could you imagine that with emeralds? Emeralds and abalone. Oh, wow. Emeralds? Emeralds. <gasps> May's breadstone, let's get it on. Is that? Oh, should be $27.95. I feel a Thursday frenzy coming on. You don't like $27.95. Oh, you best change it then. You best take it down. These are so, so lustrous. The quality that you've got here. Just to reach, look at the juiciness of these. It's just like the juicy rubies we had the other day. They are so, so stunning. Price point, that's just shy of 10 pounds off. The proof, well, if you hadn't treated yourself here. Sorry, oh yeah, it is 55 carats. I, can't, I nearly said that was 35. I, mi I thought I'd mistaken myself. You're generally getting 55 carats of natural shaded emeralds. And very much, many of you will know that some uh, majority of the time with Brazilian emeralds, it's the same um, uh, vanadium that colours your Colombian emeralds that colours your Brazilian emeralds, so they can look quite similar. Um, the reason I say that is because many of us favour and love our Colombian emeralds. You've just got emeralds that are totally natural for £20. You can wait until they go back up to twenty-seven ninety-five. You could do that. It, this is a joke, no? Yes or yes. Wow. We will bring these to you as soon as we can. We need to get a photo taken first so we can put it on the website. Um, these have literally arrived. Wow. Um, with emeralds, that would just be so great to see so many of you in the phone lines there. These are phenomenal. They're like ab abalone mosaics. Wow. I believe you're going to get Three. Whoa, they're gorgeous. Wow. Try and grab your abalone. Oh no, abalone's coming up. Try and grab your emeralds and get your abalone to go together. That would be phenomenal. Do 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 do. Time to get your rose gold chains. Ooh. Marley and Marley. Ooh. Last time it was on, 122 were allocated. We won't have enough stock, of course. We don't have that many. I've only got 40. But they are rose gold plated. I was going to check. I wasn't sure if they were just rose gold coloured or plated. They are plated. Which obviously means it's actual rose gold that was used. And it's got a certain microns of thickness to be classed as plated. So it means the durability of it is higher than it would be if it was flashed. Lovely lovely chains a great selection on it so you've got one two three four five six seven eight individual chains oh and four types aren't you getting eight chains but four types oh it's just doubled over oh forgive me they're just ridiculously a meter oh i thought you were getting to be 50 centimeters in each one 
A full length meter? Should we have a wee look at a full meter then? Just about fits on the telly. Just. Four of them. Oh gosh, that's ever so long. All the way down to here. Four metres. Each one is rose gold plated. You've got four different styles of chain. As well as, you're, sorry, I've just tangled them all up, haven't I? Not tangled them, but just sort of. So you've got twisted oval link, triangular oval link, round link, and the twisted link across the five. For me, that's like your figure, a style of um, like your Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. I can tell because I can sing that to it. Look, long link, Figaro, Figaro. I'm so sad, aren't I? Easily amused. To Whoa! Is it? Thursday frenzy. How about three pounds and twenty-three pence per chain? Is it or is it? <laughs> Loving it? I love that. I, I use chain so so often Do in my you? designs, and I, I love using it for extra detail, changing an existing design, making designs interchangeable with each other, and things like that. So you know, chain to me is it's almost like having a background to put your gemstones onto. So it's an essential. Definitely essential. It's like being an artist and having your canvas. That's it. it for me, you can't. I can make jewelry without a chain, but it's not the same as making it with chain. Chain allows you to make your gemstones go further. It allows you to highlight details in your gemstones. It allows you to elaborate your designs. It just it frees you up creativity-wise. And to change your design using different designs in chain is massive as well. So you could That's use it. a chain, but yeah. one style of chain would give you a different look to the other style That's of chain. That's it. You know, certain chains like the Figaro chain are perfect for things like charm bracelets because you've got mm. those elongated links that so you can add your charms onto each of those links. Absolutely. Um, and gives you natural spacing as well. So if you struggle with other chains to get your spacing on a charm bracelet, Use a Figaro chain because you've naturally got that spacing already there for you and you don't have to worry about counting smaller links to get them perfectly spaced. Perfect. Um, I've got seven spaces there, so I'll leave those there. Hopefully you managed to get one. With over 20 baskets, I wish you the very best of luck. A matrix box. It has diopside. And it's Russian diopside. Coveted around the world. You've got eight sections in this matrix box. One section is jam packed. Hold on, it's 20 carats. <gasps> Normally when you have a strand, it's not 20 carats. It's not that long. If you're looking at half of that, you'd be lucky if you got eight carats of Russian diopside or 10, but 20 carats. Goodness gracious me. You've got shepherd hooks in there, you've got chain, you've got links in there, you've got uh, a mixture. They're all gold plated on top of copper. You get two pairs of shepherd hooks, which are 16 by 8. Two pairs of chandeliers, which are 16 by 13 mil. You've got two lobster locks, which are 10 by 7. And you have got yourself a T-bar and round, which are is a, a toggle clasp and that comes in with two of those. You've got 20 jump rings at 6 mil in size. And they're all gold plated and 50 copper beads at 2 mil. And all of that, plus your 40 centimetres and your oval link chain, it's a twisted oval link, 3 by 2 mil, all gold plated. Now that looks like you get a few nuggets there. That's 10 carats of nuggets. That's not 10 carats of nuggets there, is it? That's just an example of a few of the nuggets you're going to get. Oh, you're you gonna get, get loads. 20 carats. A huge amount. They're not going to be a carrot each. No, you get you get loads and loads in there. I'm always surprised. I mean, there may be. Well, I, I don't know, but I've I've had these matrices before, and I've made earrings, and I made um, my own rosary link neckline piece with just a little bit of chain added in between. So if you've got the chain deal before, you've got enough in that matrix box there to probably make yourself a neckline piece with a rosary link. I think we need that. We need necklaces, we need rosary links, and yeah. we need it with chrome dioxide. I've still got chrome dioxide in here. Have a look at this. 
Now the average carat weight of chrome dioxide coming out of the ground is how much? What do you reckon? It's five points. Anything over five points in a Russian dioxide is exceptionally rare. Anything over 50 points, half a carat, is magnificently rare. You have 10 carats across these stones. Can you see the glowing greens? Can you imagine how perfect that would be with some abalone? I adore it. Vesuvianites from Mount Vesuvius. Look how many chrome diopsides you get. They are totally natural Russian diopsides. What do you mean you're not staying there? I don't know anyone with 20 carats of Russian diopside. Oh, they're amazing. Come, come now, Kimbo. Can I disagree with this price? I'm not going to change it. But I strongly disagree. You would think that was all you get, that price point. 20 carats, I'd be happy, more than happy. The original price for just the gems. I think we need to do some research on chrome diopside. True, natural. It's chromium that gives it its colour from Russia. Siberian Russia. Oh, it's like kryptonite. It's amazing and they're all drilled as well 7.95 you have just got yourself I hope you don't mind me seeing it but steal but you haven't stolen it how awesome is that pendant bales with the heart in sterling silver I'm going to display it on one of our chains that we've just had even though the chains are in yellow gold, I quite like mixing, or rose gold, sorry, I quite like, like mixing my um, mediums, or my colours even. Sterling silver, there we go, sorry I'm just threading it on, it just takes a wee second. An idea as a, oh, turn it the right way, that would help as well. Last time we brought you these, 52 were allocated and I've only got how many? 83. The launch over 270 went. You've got a, a beaut of a heart. Well, I know where these have all been. Haven't these been in Sheila's kits? She's been, cause Sheila's been putting them all in her kit. I saw them. I did it with her. It was all these lovely treats. And then in, in there, there was just five heart bales as well. And I was like, where did these come from? She went, oh, I just found them. Put them in. As you do. And um, these are being allocated quite quickly. I think the la other than the launch with myself, um, I think I've only really brought them to you in kits, really. Um, Daryl's in, you calling her in, Laurie's out in Aberdeen, great to see you. You've got yours, Berkshire, London, Wiltshire, Leicestershire, Ali, hi, my name's Sake in Leicestershire, lovely to see you. You spell it with a Y, I spell it with an I. Either way, it's still cool. Nanetta's in. Loving your work. RCT's with us, Leslie Ann, showing an interest. West Midlands are there, new callers are coming through. Wonderful. Victoria in the West Midlands, you've managed to get yours. Now you get five. We message coming through. They would look lovely with the diopside nuggets. Absolutely they would. Totally agree with you, Samantha, out there in Cumbria. Silver and green, what a treat. Love that. You've got yourself five of them. And if it turned it sideways, what do you reckon we should do? Five pounds each? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Twenty-five pounds. Or, woo! <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-five pence, so much so that Patricia has gone for two in Staffordshire. Johan's in in Midlothian. Agnes is in as well in Ayrshire. Great to see you all. Fellow Scott joining us. Thank you very much. Two pounds each for a sterling silver 
heart with a sterling silver stamp on the top absolutely love or love uh, a pack of 10 bales now so these oh gosh these are really wonderfully made these have no heart on them these are these are almost like little clams just see these I'm just putting them on this chain just to, to be able to show it for you there's it sideways again what you would do a lot of people call them pinch bales they tend to pinch your gemstone huh, into place so all it needs is a drill hole and then you could pop that in there and have it dropping down and you get 10 they are super cute aren't they <laughs> they look a bit like horse stirrups from sideways but uh, with something like this you would have seen just the other day on the um, the morning show with Sheila how to use some of them but you may have seen them before with Sarah. Sarah have you had a chance to work with these before? Yeah they're really easy to use they're Are great they? if you've got um, a flat trail gemstone mm -hmm. or um, maybe a briolette drop or something like that that's got the drill hole either back to front or um, it's a symmetrical gemstone at the top where it's mm -hmm. got a drill hole across it because they work beautifully for pinching that that that, drill, that hole there but I've used these before um, I've put a little tiny piece of um, gizmo real fine gizmo coil between the two um, pieces that pinch together and actually looped loads of chains through them as well Ooh. so we can have like you know really beautiful chain designs with them so if you've got those other chains as well if you want to mix and match your metals together you could do that's a really lovely idea i wouldn't have thought of that what do you think yeah mm, let's give it a go price point for these are you get 10 for 9.95 that's a pound each and they're sterling silver have you put two packs together no, that's just one pack. What were we thinking? <laughs> the rest of them are all in here. I've got a review coming through as well. Took them out of the dish just so you can see them a little bit better. Uh, stunning and great bargain too. I'll take that. With more messages coming through. This is a, a current message from Daryl. Hi, Daryl. I love using them with silver clay and other types of clay. Great. That's a good idea, isn't it? Love, love, love. Something else I love, and it's our Amelia. What is Amelia? Only just gone and done. She's only just gone and taken a picture of her abalone, which has literally just arrived, so that we can put it on Facebook. Uh, not on Facebook, probably put it on Facebook too, but so we can put it on your screens right now. Now, I'm going to show this to Kim. Can you give us a minute before you put the graphics in? Hold on a minute. We've not had any time to get prepared for these because they've only just arrived. Very, very kindly, um, Mark's brought the Mark, not Mark. Scott has brought these to us. Um, what was that? So you just said? 250 in stock and you get approximately three now there's never going to be enough anytime we've had abalone on it's sold out we had it on at the weekend and it's sold out what do you reckon price point wise for one of these crikey they've got to be i mean even for a plain cabochon i'd be looking at seven or eight pounds in some of the shops so i mean i'm thinking at least that so for the three of them about good jewelry maker price 14.95 Oh crikey, an amazing price. Is that too low? I'm just guessing. I yeah, don't know. I, th I, I wouldn't be expecting them to be that low because there's a lot of workmanship in there. You've got to find it all and then you've yeah. got to put it all together and that's, that's a lot of workmanship in those. So I think if it's anything like 14.95, that's a bargain. Personally. Okay. Um, I've already got 15 baskets. I've got 250 odd. Had. Um, the 30 by 20 mil and you get three. One side, as you can see, is just your plain shell. And then you've got this mosaic. Have you ever seen our mosaics on our sister channel? We had a collection that had, did you see yeah. them say they had these with diamonds and tanzanite? 
Uh, mosaic abalone with dan diamonds and tanzanite and they were all 14 karat gold or above <gasps> it was our neftari collection mm -hmm. i loved it because i love saying it as well mm -hmm. neftari if you're a regular view you might have seen that abalone with diamonds and all the tanzanite were triple a or above that's what our abalone was set with in 14 karat gold or above what do you reckon we could do for you today <gasps> oh yeah Wow. I didn't mention that, did I? You didn't. You kept that very sneakily secret. Three pounds and thirty-two pennies each. That is amazing. Um, I have a little shop near me for two round gemstones. I'd pay more than that in a little, like ten mil round. Not even ten. I think the six mil round two gemstones. <laughs> I'd pay more than that. Good job you work here. Isn't it? it is a good job I work here. We are so fortunate. Thank you for joining us. This is Thursday Frenzy. Um, Kimbo and I have worked together to make, make sure you get something special for each and every single day. Yesterday was Waff Wednesday. Tuesday was Tries Out Tuesday. Monday was probably Madness. What was Monday? No, it was Monday Madness. There we go. Um, Saturday was Super Saturday. I've missed Sunday because it was Sunday Sparklers. Ooh. So you'll need to tune in uh, next week, Friday, to see what Friday is all about, eh? I'm not telling you what Friday is, you have to watch on Friday. No, I'm not giving you a heads up. Who changed them round? Who made you change it? Ah, we would have rhymed otherwise. Right, these are going to sell out, so please don't count um, or rely on the quantity on screen because lots of people are multi-bidding and we can't really keep up with it. But. We're, we're trying to give you sort of a rough countdown, but it, it, it's less than that. Sammy Guest Designer got mine, yay! With three <laughs> kisses. Did you did you get them? Because Alison Tarry won't have seen these yet. Because she's very kindly making us a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. uh, Angela in Sussex. East Sussex, should I say. Hi, guys. Got these. Want to really challenge myself to use Cabochon's uh, love from Ange. Love it. Now, they're not... Well... <laughs> They are a cabochon traditional, but there's a very, very slim cabochon. Traditionally, they're a bit more dome-like to be a cabochon, mm -hmm. flat and dome-like, but there is a dome to it. Otherwise, you could technically call it an abalone slice. They're called pendants. They're not called cabochons, but yeah. Have they got a drill hole? You could do your same cabochon wrapping. Have they got no, no drill hole? No drill hole. You have to put yourself to the challenge with these. You see, I like that, though. I yeah, like that I challenge because, so. you know, I'm not naturally a wire worker by my original sort of jewellery making so I love being challenging myself to set cabochons in lots of different ways other than using wire as well give it a go yes yeah, so you can do your macrame with those or you could do your kamihima a little bit of soutache yes let's get it on <laughs> um, can we do these at some point because I'm really excited about them so after the kit yay can I take them with me I really like them I'm really excited about them Alison Terry, please, please don't dislike me, but while you were making tea, we did something that I think you might want. Sammy's just got it. Wait, we did just arrived. I'm going to bring them to you so you can see them, you can hold them, and you can have them, and, and if you want them, if you're really quick, you can get them. <laughs> Alison, don't be sad. I'm coming to you. <gasps> oh, my goodness. If you're quick, they went to 9 95 for the three. You're kidding me. Sammy's just got some. She just messaged and went, got mine, ye, with three kisses. Sammy, <laughs> while you're there, <gasps> they're amazing. Aren't they? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Ooh. Right, Alison's off. You'll be able to see her with Sammy, actually, together, depending on whether Sammy gets some for you or not, whether they're friends <laughs> or not on Tuesday. But uh, they'll be with us on a double show on Tuesday, double the trouble. Thank you, and thanks for the tea. Oh, yes. Um, sorry, I'm just walking about with these. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're fab, aren't they? Yes. Coming up. Right. Oh, kit is already being allocated. Hold on a minute. It's the most jam-packed kit of the show, and apparently the most lowest price... The most low, That's terrible English. The lowest price kit of the show. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> wow. These, we've just seen very, very, dis uh, very similar in gold plated with uh, a dream Russian dioxide I've now got I don't know if you can see but Ethiopian opals and a silver plated copper finest which has clearly gone a bit uh, awry in the box it's been shook up a little bit by the look had a little bit of a yeah. shake going on just 
just to keep you on your toes. Um, so you get that. Two different gauges of wire, 0.25 mil, which you get 15 meters of, and 0.4, and that is your silver plated wire as well. So that's pretty fab. Then you've got your hairpins and combs, and you've got hairpins, sorry, hair bands, five hair bands and five combs, is that correct? Yes. Love, love, love that. Then, four strands of gems. All nugget strands, so they're all at least, what, 80 centimetres each? Yeah. There's loads, loads and loads and loads. These would go with a lot of this morning's treats, the, the Vesuvian were. night, which is coming up, but most importantly, the turquoise and the chrysocolla, do you think? Mm, definitely. They would all go beautifully together. I love oh. these. And you've got a lovely graduation of size of nuggets as well. Yeah. Through, the, through, through the four strands. You've got lots of scope to be able to mix and match them together. So if you want to do some um, graduated work where you start off with the really small ones on the inside and then work your way out, you've got lots you can work with. Mm. I think we need these. Lots of you getting them already. You've got your white topaz, which therefore I'll probably put a wee price up on that because your topaz is very, yeah. it's not far off your clear topaz, but to be, for, to be fair. Um, it's got the odd blue in there. It's, it's natural topaz with natural blue topazes in there as well, but shh, don't tell anyone I told you that. Neon Appetite's in there as well, which is this one here. Really, really dark, really, really intense. You've also got your blue topaz, it looks like to me, but I'm just going to... Oh, no, is that a marine? <gasps> is it? That's really clean aquamarine. Usually it's a bit more opaque yeah, in your nugget form, isn't it? I, I thought it was a blue topaz. Mm. Oh, look at the translucency there. Transparency, should I say? Well, translucent, yeah. But transparency is fan fantabulous. 130 carats of aquamarine, 190 carats of neon appetite. White topaz you've got in there, verging on clear topaz, which is coming in at your 230 carats on those ones. 85 centimetre strand on that, 84 centimetres for the appetite, 84 again for the aquamarine. And finishing off with this super duper strand. It's your white seashell, small nuggets, by no means small, eight by five millimeter, and it's approximately, um, well, 36 inches, which I don't know why they do that one in inches and all the other ones in centimeters. So I'm presuming it's around 80 odd centimeters. I think it's 82 odd centimeters, isn't it, inches? I don't know. Yeah, well, 30 inches is 60 centimeters, so not bigger than that. 36 inches it is. Yeah. Um, well, looking at it this way, it looks like it's one or two centimetres shorter than the topaz, which is 85. So I'm going to go for 82-ish. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing, um, just from what I've got here. Right, price point wise, is it meant to be 35, 45, 55? 55 pounds or 35, 55? Is that all? 35 pounds and 55p. No. <laughs> there is an accessory shop. Claire was on yesterday, actually. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Loved having her on. Um, and it was £12.50 for the tiniest tiara. Mm -hmm. With There was a stone fall out. I was looking in there because my brother's fiancé... Um, well, it's going to be a bride, obviously, because my brother's fiance. It was a hen night, and I was trying to find a little fun oh, yeah. veil thing, because all of our lace had sold out. And it was 20-odd pounds for a little plasticky or metally band with a veil. Wow. I thought the whole purpose of that shop was, shop was so you kids could just get a little fun thing. Yeah, but those little fun things aren't... You, you know, they're not fun prices. They're not fun on the wallet, are they? <laughs> they're absolutely not fun prices. It's like one of my favourite places, Glen Eagles. Pocket money prices. £45 for horse riding, which was a pocket money price when I was 12. £17.95. We'll definitely be able to get that with my Glen Eagles pocket money. Yes. Um, Joy when you can. This is the lowest price get of the entire day, and you've got straight away three tiaras out of this. Three hair pieces. Straight, oh my gosh, I love it. It's like frozen. <laughs> Um, you've got a sterling silver plated findings pack with Ethiopian opals. The carat weight of Ethiopian opals is 10 carats. It's not even 20 pounds. With well, just shy of half the stock already gone. Um, I probably shouldn't ask you this, but I always do it. Have you got a favourite? 
Yes. Out of what you made here? This one here. The first, the first one. one. Yes. May I try it on? You may. Definitely my favourite. Aquamarine and Topaz Tiara. Yes. Or crown almost. This is almost. <gasps> Bring me my tiara. <laughs> I love it. Let it go, let it go. Totally could sing Frozen in this. Is that the hair comb that's just fanned out? It is, yeah. Show you Are you going to show us how to make it? show you how to do that. Yeah. I just want to show everyone at home that I had loads left over, by the way. Absolutely tons. I've got two hair combs in there, one of the bands left in there, or loads of wire and loads and loads of gemstones. You just have so much. And oh, wow. So I have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads left over. So I could probably um, make the hair piece you're wearing again, at least, if not twice. Um, can I try this one on too? You can. You can. Can I put it on the front of my you head? You can. It's it's sort of a more of a bridally type piece, but you know. My hair is in the way. You can wear that at the front as well. <laughs> I love it. Can you excuse my wrinkles? Apparently they're dehydration lines. I love that. The lady at the makeup counter. She told me to drink water and it'll go away. It, I had no wrinkles this morning when I woke up. I'm not joking. In here, with the heat and with the, the air con and the dry air, I get wrinkles. Yeah, Out in the house, it's fine. My <laughs> friend said I look like a 12 year old. Right. <laughs> and that's lovely to hear when you've just turned 30. <laughs> Okay, so what we need to do is we na need to naturally bend the comb. It's got actually got to bend in there anyway from the metal piece that's in there. But I need to bend this so it's more of an angle on this part here. Okay. And to do that, what I, d I use personally is I use my bale making pliers and I use the largest of the bales to, to give it a natural curve. If you haven't got that, you could just use your round nose pliers, but I would suggest if you've got an old pair, because you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on your pliers. Okay. So if you've got an, a pair that you've had for a long time and you know you don't necessarily use them all the time, then that's probably a good thing to use, is to use an odd pair. So I'm just going to hold the end of my, my comb, and I'm going to hold that there, but I'm not twisting the hand that's holding the pliers. I'm actually bending the comb itself and because it's really quite a toughened they are metal tough, that's in they? there but I'm just going to gently use my hand just to push down rather than anything else to get that bend to start in there and then the last bit I'm going to just twist around like that so what I'm looking for is to sort of get a, a more of a, a natural bend in there you can see that starting to form and you can make that even more so if you want to mm. and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to to put that onto my hair comb sitting flat so my hair comb is going to come underneath and it's going to sit flat creating that look so I actually need to push all of the prongs on my comb upwards 90 degrees so they're actually going to come up like that so I'm just going to push them upwards with my like that and then so once you've got them all like that, what you're going to do is you're going to spend a little bit of time and you're going to fan them out. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't mean to interrupt you, yeah. but just quickly, I've got more of these in baskets than I have in quantity. So if you do decide to go for it, um, don't mean to rush you, just to let you be aware that I've only got, um, well, 17 and counting left and I have more of you with it in your basket, not to mention those of you who decide to call. So do, um, don't mean to rush you, but try and make your mind up. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It's a lovely, lovely set. And if you, you know, if you want to keep the, cars, the, the combs and the tiaras for something else mm. and just make jewellery from the four strands you've got in there with your findings, pack and the wire, you know, you have, just keep those for something else. But having aquamarine in there, for me, it's, it's naturally bridal because that used to be the, the um, old engagement ring. It was Gemstone. the traditional yeah. engagement ring. Many people still have it as their engagement ring. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to just start the wire wrapping and then okay. um, you can then choose with this design how you want to continue it, whether you want to put the gemstones in there, how many layers you want. But I'm just going to show you how to start. And it's important that you have a really good, even distribution Split. at this point. And this first layer of wrapping that you're going to do with your wire will keep the base of these um, steady for you so that th that will stay the way it is. Um, so don't be tempted to be too heavy handed with your wire wrapping at this point. So I'm just going to anchor my wire onto the furthest of 
the prongs and then going to bring my wire over the top of the next one and round twice once and twice and then I'm going to go over the next one on the top and you, you can use the coils that are at the bottom of the prongs as a natural anchor for this wire and they'll naturally sit in there and you want to do two full wraps around each of the prongs once and twice and you can see that the first one what I'm doing is just catching it with my nail and I'm not pulling that really really tight there I'm literally just allowing it to sit and the second one you can pull a little bit tighter like that and you're just going to carry on doing that along until you get to the far end so if I hold that up so you can see that that's where that's starting there and it's starting to form and you see that you sort of have that stepped wire work that's coming across here oh yes and that will actually hold these for you so you don't have to worry once you get a couple of rows of that on that that would be how it would keep those from moving so they actually these ones at this side are all moving quite easily whereas these That'll ones over here are much more structured and stable and you literally use the same technique coming backwards coming over the top and underneath to add your gemstones in and you can do as many rows of gemstones and wire as you want so I've done a couple of rows of wire a couple of rows of gemstones a couple of rows of wire and that's created that look and then I just filled in going right across the top of my comb in between each of these loops with one layer of gemstones as well to create that sort of almost icicle look. Was it a retree of life in there as well? Little, little spray as well in there and I've just used the bottom two prongs of my comb to attach to the tiara band so it's those two pieces ah. there that actually attach in there and they're wire wrapped with gemstones over the top so you can't actually see where they're attached. <gasps> Sarah I love it um, it's not Sarah's work that squint is my head um, it was nice and straight and I put on squint so there you go um, beautiful Sarah thank you so much I bet I'll be seeing lots of little princesses about with these on yeah definitely and, and an let awful let it go let it go <laughs> it's an awful lot nice to make your own and an awful lot more economical than going to buy one that'll yeah. last five minutes and these, these will last last nice. proper combs and you could also do I'm thinking of doing that mm -hmm. on top of another comb yes because then you've got the chair and you can mm -hmm. slide it in because yes. we, we had that I made some like that for the, the hen party yeah so you could do exactly the same piece and then just pop it on top of another comb it yeah. would work beautifully and then you could um, have your, your comb to go with it yeah so if you imagine that one was flat it would just go sit on top of there slide in yeah and it would slide into your hair so you could sit that on top of that one like that Oop. Well, we split that out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you, know. you can see what. Well, you know what we mean. See where it's going. Loving it, <laughs> and you get plenty there. Fab, fabric, fabric pile. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth in fabrics. Um, I love these. I'm really excited about these. You are getting two of each now. I'm going to go with the block colours first. So you've got yourself this lovely. Somebody described it to me. It was a lovely flurry yesterday. As um, she was talking about her bridesmaid's dresses. I hope she doesn't mm -hmm. mind me telling this. We're at. Uh, Canterbury colour. Other chocolate bars are available like Galaxy and Dairy Milk but they don't have the coloured chocolate wrapping as this. It's like really luxurious almost like a sheen to it. Block colour and then I have another block mm. colour so you get two of those and then the dark purple solid polyester fabric it's, it's 80 by 30 centimetres and then you've got the two fuchsia as well. So let's get a wee bit of a thread on it. Can you see how amazing that is? So I'm just going to open one so you can see a full length of an 80 by 30 centimetres. So that's what you're going to get there. That's loud. Lush, isn't it? Let's just see if that would, how far down that would go. Ooh. What's it's actually longer, than, longer than my dress. <laughs> my dress is to the knee. Can I just point out to the knee? Um, so there's plenty of fabric there. Shall I hold it? No. Oh. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> can we hold the other end? You can see how long it is. Yes. So you're gonna have to get your price and I haven't even shown you them all right quickly. There, okay. Here's your thing. Look at that. They're all the same size. All 80 by 30 millimeter. Really huge. It's like we're about to open something, Pure I Scissors. <laughs> and it's open with my crown on. Um, we're going down to seven ninety five. So you get the fuchsia and the purple, and then you get this one that makes me think of um. Makes me think of 
<laughs> Should I tell you what it makes me think of? Makes me think of myrrh and frankincense in Christmas time. Oh. And what the um, what you should, the shepherds wore, <laughs> the colours. Do you know that would be perfect if you need to make um, a surround to go around a Christmas tree to <gasps> hide all the bits oh, underneath. Oh yeah. I need to do that. that. So you get two of these as well. Love that. Mm. Then you get these ones, which I'm loving. They absolutely make me think of Christmas cracker colours. Definitely, really. Do you make your own crackers? Or a table runner? Table runner. I'm getting a bit festive. It's because it's got <laughs> silver sparkle yeah. and gold sparkle. These, love them. Love, love, love the greens and golds. Can you go wrong with green and gold? No. Absolutely not. It's got silver in the middle. Green, gold and silver. And the final one, which is my favourite, favourite, favourite. Reminds me of the wallpaper I had when I was a little girl. I still have it. No. Love it. Lilacs, pinks, minty greens and silver. Love this, my favourite one. I'm going to make myself a dress with that and that. Right. <laughs> Love it. Seven ninety-five, and we're going to go. You get all of them. Love How many it. in total? Twelve pieces, two of each. Six different types. We're going to go to your wall of fame. Well, I make myself a dress. <laughs> Got my dress. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I made my dress. Right. Yes. Wall of Fame. Right. Go for it. Okay. I have 123 beautiful Ooh. wire wrapping again here. Looks like we've got lots of pendants. Um, and this is from Georgina, and she says. Hi to you all you lovely JMers. Here Hiya. are a couple of recent makes using JM Sunstone and Labradorite faceted slabs. The Sunstone is incredible with shimmering copper inside the gem and the Labradorite is just wow. Um, on the one strand I have classic blues, greens and golds as well as stars and even a bit of purple. Lush. I hope everyone is happy and healthy. Best of luck to everyone on the wall of fame and that's from Georgina. I love it, Georgina. Beautiful. Well done. Well done indeed. Brilliant. I love the way you've displayed it as well. Um, oh, hello. Oh, this is lovely. Really pretty. One, two, two. It's got the leaves going on. I love leaves at the minute. This is from Katie in Worcestershire. Hiya, Katie. Good morning. Whilst cleaning up my, my craft room, I found a, my polymer clay. So I decided to make something. This is, oh gosh, did you make these? This, obviously you made it because it's a wall of fame. I mean, did you make these? <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought these were um, gems. I thought they were adventuring. That is what, this is what I came up with. Thank you for all the great inspiration. Have fun and keep crafting. Katie from Worcestershire. Katie, that's brilliant. I genuinely thought you'd, you'd uh, bought those. Uh, they were like bought adventuring carved leaves. That's beautiful detail. That's beautiful. Fun. Well done, one, two, two is your number. I've got a lovely piece of wire work mm. here. Yes. Yeah. This is one, two, five. Uh, and this is from Gaynor and she's in Nottingham. Mm. She says, hi everyone at JM. I haven't entered the Wall of Fame for a few weeks, so here's my latest design. It's a cuff bangle in 1.25 millimeter JM wire using sapphire blue quartzite, clear quartz, hematite beads, and some baby blue clear beads from my stash. I hope you like it and good luck to everybody who enters and that's from Gaynor in Nottingham. That's gorgeous. Wonderful. Thank you for taking time to send it. Beautiful. A lot of work's gone into that. Mm. Fancy copying that myself. You give me some inspiration. <laughs> um, oh, get the abalone going on. 124 is your number and this is from Br uh, is it Brian? Hope I've said that correctly. Hello all. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. An abalone shell with beading thread and some wire. Goodness me, if you didn't manage to get an abalone earlier, there might be a little bit left. You might want to take some uh, inspiration from this. When I first got a chemo Kumihimo disc, I made a trial braid using pink and green bre uh, beading thread, which was then stored away. And Im it immediately came to mind when I received this shell. It's a perfect match for a beautiful abalone. And that's from, Bri I hope I said that correctly, Brion. Lovely, lovely design. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I hope I said that right. 
Gorgeous. Oh, gosh, and one more. Do you want to read it? Because I, I did it wrong. Okay. Uh, I've got 120. Too busy six. making my dress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is from Elizabeth and she's in Northern Ireland she says good morning all at JM this is my entry for the Wall of Fame it's my first attempt at a wire wrapped ring after watching Laura last week on the designer inspiration show I need more practice but it's okay best wishes uh, from Elizabeth in Northern Ireland well Elizabeth that's the whole beauty of wire work is you can practice and practice and create new techniques and new designs all the time. So I think I you've done very that's well. That's brilliant. I think that's really great. I don't think I can do that. My first attempt. Well done to you. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have just tuned in, I'm not trying out to be a beauty queen. I have just tried to uh, wear the most beautiful tiara. Can I call it a crown? It feels like a crown. You can call it whatever you like. It's a Princess crown. Princess crown. Um, and some of our fabrics that we've had on the show. I'm Ali, this is Sarah, we'll be back. We're going to have a really short break. I've just said hello, but we're going to say see you in a sec. Because we're going to have a really, really short break. Because we've got, really got to get ready for a Vesuvian night. It's amazing. If you haven't already got abalone shells, just to mind you that they are there. Well, they're pendants, actually, as opposed oh. to just shells. They're actual pendants. There's only three of them. Um, well, you get you get three, which is quite a lot. I meant there's only a few left. And they went down to 9.95. So give us a wee call if you want to find out more alternatively on the web. And Sarah and I will join the other side with Vesuvianite. <laughs> Just the same The years have changed us since they've come and gone There are some things that remain I see the changes in the mirror From who I was so long ago And all the things you've always wanted Well, I'm still working on those now I'm content just following our dreams You and me, just you and me The burning heart of Oregon is now available to you in this stunning new collection American Fire Opal, the finest discovery This month, Jewelry Maker is going to be moving to a new channel on Freeview Stay tuned to find out our new channel number, which we'll be revealing very soon. Thread your crimp bead onto your wire. Then take your clasp and thread the wire through the loop, which is attached to the base of the clasp. Next, take the end of the wire back through the crimp bead. Pull the end of the wire all the way through the crimp until it meets with the clasp. Make sure you leave a small amount of room between the crimp and the clasp to give you some flexibility. Using your flat nose or crimping pliers, press down firmly on the crimp bead. Using wire cutters, snip off any excess wire and then your clasp will be ready for you to start beading. Once you have finished your beading, you will need to repeat the process at the other end of the wire. But this time, add a crimp bead and a jump ring onto the wire. Take the thread back through the crimp bead and press down with your flat nose pliers. Then you will have a complete clasp. Did you know that every individual gemstone in our Gems of Distinction collection goes through a seven stage intricate process to get from the rough to a beautiful bead? trying to count along backwards in Persian there. I learned one to ten this morning, but I can't do it backwards. <laughs> can only do it counting up. Right, Vesuvi night. This is a treat and a half. Have you ever seen it before? Oh, is it? Oh, I've only got a hundred. Hum. Okay, it's available. Call me whenever you're ready. This will be for those of you who really want something special, who want a little 
a little extra special treat to offer, whether it be your friends or family, whether it be just to, to have in your own collection, or maybe, uh, as I say, you may have a, a business and you may be working towards getting something extra special. So you might have the traditional gems, like the, the beauty of pearls, if you're lucky enough, maybe some aquamarine, maybe amethyst gemstones, like citrine, maybe you've got a little bit of peridot going on. You might just want to have that edge over your competition. You might just want to have a little bit extra something. And this is a gemstone that's beautiful. It's a gem from the, no, this is a mouthful, Sorosilicate family. Doesn't matter if you don't know what that means. It's just the type of family it comes from. For example, turquoise comes from the turquoise family. It's its own gemstone. Whereas beryls like um, morganite and emeralds and aquarine, they come from the beryl family. Sapphires come from the corundum family. It's just the type of family that it comes from. It's a tetragonal uh, in its crystal structure. Again, that doesn't matter unless you're into those sort of things. But what's really important, it's normally not enhanced at all. And this is completely natural. Vesuvianite was very, very first discovered um, in Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which is after where it was named. So that was where it was first found. And it's this beautiful greeny, golden hue that you get from it. Now, you might know it um, as sonidinum, which is a really mouthful to say, or idocrase. Either way, you can call it Idocrase. Um, it's derived from the Greek words for idea, for likeness, and krasis, or krasis, meaning mixture. So it's a mixture of, of the colour. It relates to the fact that the gemstone sometimes has visual resemblance to peridot, sometimes to tourmaline, and you see several garnet hues in there as well, sort of green garnet hues. It's a beaut of a gemstone. As I say, you might see a few green tourmaline hues there. You might see a few peridot hues. Or you might even see some green garnet hues. Either way, that's where its sort of name Idocrase came from. But its original name was Vesuvianite, after Mount Vesuvius, where it was initially found. 40 carats for you here in one strand. Now, I haven't bought you Vesuvianite on Gem Collector uh, on a daily basis. I haven't brought it to you on a monthly basis. I haven't brought it to you on a yearly basis. In fact, I've never brought it to you on Jewelry Maker. Don't believe it's ever been brought to you on Jewelry Maker. My producer Kim has never brought it to you. It's a collectible gem. It's not going to be one for everybody. I appreciate that because you might already have treated yourself to a gem that you've heard of, that you know of. This is for some of you who might want to try something different. And I always like to cater for everybody here in Jewelry Maker. My producer Kim makes sure of that every single day. It's a stunning gem. It generally comes in greens, sometimes in browns, sometimes in blue, and even in yellow. But very, very rare instances, you might see purple. But very, very few specimens are found in the world. The gemstone, as you can see, is transparent to translucent. And best way to display those hues is usually a sort of step facet. We've got a brilliant facet on these, which means the fact that you can see those wonderful hues coming through is it's an exceptional quality Vesuvian night. As I say, it's totally natural. June's already in, Christine's in, John and Jarrett have gone for three, Diana's in, Tracy's in and Johan's in. Lots of multi-bids coming through and London are with us as well. Graduates in size, they are not shine retiring at all. They start with 5 by 4 millimeter and they go up to 8 by 6 millimeter. Now the colour that you're seeing here is derived from the most wonderful presence of the same presence as what you get in the blue in your turquoise, it's copper. Copper is what gives it this amazing hue. What a treat indeed. So many of the gemstones that you get uh, with Vesuvianite are, are tend to be discovered in or, or near a volcano. Um, it's a metamorphic gemstone and the greens and the blues that you're getting see there are pretty distinguishable against any other gemstone. This one is all about the greens and the sort of peridot hue. But it's a stunning gemstone in its own right. I don't want it to be confused with peridot because it's completely different. It's a real true treat. Love it or love it? A lot of people find it in America, which is actually quite similar to the color of jadeite when you find it in America. It's lovely. It's a beautiful gem. And what's nice about it is different locations tend to give you sort of different minerals, which therefore tend to give you different hues. So you've got quite a few to collect, at least a handful to collect. Carrie's in there, Duncan's in there, New Collars, June and Christine, you've all got yours, New Collars as well. What do you reckon? For a full 19 centimetre strand of one of the most beautiful gems, easy, easily distinguishable, that you can get in a variety of places. You can get it in California, New, uh, Norway, Quebec, Canada, uh, Ural Mountains in Russia, Switzerland. You can get it in a variety of places. Of course, Mount Vesuvius. Um, but it's something we've never had on Children Maker that I'm aware of to date. And I'm here most days. And if I'm not here, I'm kind of watching. So 
stock jewel in a maker a little bit. It's a bit weird, isn't it? £25. For a gem that's very rarely seen, that's exceptionally collectible, you may know it as Ida Craze. You're not right to know it, uh, you're not wrong to know it either way. You're right both ways, Vesuvian Night or Ida Craze. It's not a problem. Um, it's whichever you wish to call it. But this gemstone is a gem in its own right. It also has two other members of its family. You may have heard of Californite, which, funnily enough, was discovered in the state of California in America. Um, and similar, similar to your, your sort of jadeite. And another gemstone, um, of course, which is primarily mined in Norway, is Blue Supreme. Don't worry if you don't know either of those. But it's a beautiful gem in its own right. And with Judith in and Hannah in multi bids, as I say, it's it's for those of you who want to try something different and really, really put yourself out there as a true, genuine gemstone jewellery maker. I appreciate you might have made a, a little bit of a saving today. You might want to put that towards trying something different. And there was something I read the other day. Who was it by? Was it Aristotle? I can't remember. Something to do with insanity and change. It's insane to think things can change if you don't make a change. I think that's what it was. I'll find the quote and I'll put it on the book of the face because I may have just quoted that wrong. Anyway, Vesuvian, I can't believe you got it. FRCI 58. Hopefully, it's coming your way. Enjoy it. Pearls, I've been looking at these a lot today. These are love. Oh, the three strands. We've, not, we've only had one wee glimpse of these, actually. We had a glimpse of the, the softer sort of peaches, apricots, and we've had a glimpse of the lemon, but we haven't had a look at the stronger apricots down there. <gasps> look at these, the three of them coming your way today. Oh, I quite fancy them together. Citron pearl tree, or citrus pearl tree, oh, sorry, forgive me. They're pretty. Do you like them? I do. They're very much um, of the sort of colour tone of the bridal, sort of very much Ooh. the bridesmaids' dresses at the moment. Very These very sort of sherbet-y, pastel colours, so they're perfect for that. My bridesmaid colour dress was alongside the sort of, this is a peachy pink. Yeah, mine was a sort of toffee colour. Oh, yeah. Kimbo's was the, uh, the top colour. Yeah. Kimbo was a bridesmaid. She didn't have bridesmaids, not yet. Mike will be designing uh, Kimbo's wedding, apparently so. Apparently, well, you were away, Tom, in Mexico. Uh, director Tom asked Phil if he could design their uh, wedding. Phil said no, and Kim said you can design the dress. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, lots happened since you went, Tom. Did you go away as well? Oh, you're missing everything. Lots going on at Jill and a Maker. Citrus Pearl Trio. As you can see, there's a different variety of shapes. You are getting potato pearls and the pearl drops as well. 6 by 4 millimeter for the apricots, which are these ones here. Then we've gone to the yellow in the middle, which are pearl drops at 7 by 6 mil. And then finishing off with this one, which is, oh sorry, forgive me, these are 6 by 4. These are called apricot and these are called orange. I think these are more apricot, but you can, it's not, it's not orange as you would expect an orange to be. Does that make sense? It's not like a, I always think of oranges as an actual orange that you're going to eat. Mm. They're more of an apricot, apricot to me and more of a pinky, pinky um, champagne. Middle ones and then a lemon. I love it. I quite like those ones in the middle. Should we get a deal on? One of my friends I saw a picture of in a lemon dress yesterday and it really suits her. Lemon suits quite a lot of people, doesn't it? It's a it lovely does. colour. I've got a lemon shawl, or some pashmina, and I wear Ooh. it with all sorts of different things. When I, it's one that goes on holiday with me and it mm. goes with pretty much just about anything you're wearing, so it's amazing Yeah. But how versatile a colour it is. We need it, and you're, you're darker haired and I'm lighter haired and it works with both yeah. of us, so I think lemon is a, a, a must. Oh, uh, are you ready to treat? Oh, yay! There we go then. Per Sorry? What do you mean you're not staying there? I like my job. It is Thirsty Frenzy, that's alright then. We're going down to twelve ninety five for the three. Just over three pounds each. No, just over four pounds each, sorry. Four pounds and thirty two pennies. For a full strand of pearls, surely that's not right. Approximately 38 centimetres on each. They are twisted together. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Ooh, one twist in them, so I can twist them round. Whoa, 
Love it. Love, love, love. What do you reckon? I've managed to twist my finger in there on that side, so I can't get it out, but I'll twist this side now. I'm better at twisting with my left hand because I'm left handed. What do you reckon? Oh, love it or love it? They are gorgeous. I love those. I think they make really look really lovely if you come here mode those with some of the S long cords as well, with that white yeah. S long. And we had the right colours of S long yeah. cord on today as well, yeah. didn't we? These would be perfect. I saw a necklace in that shop where you can buy pharmaceutical goods and it was twelve pounds and fifty pence. Wow. That's I didn't realise that was a shop that specialised no. in jewellery. No, neither did I. But at twelve pounds and fifty pence you would think it was. Mm. But genuine gems, genuine three strands pearls. That's three pearl necklaces. Love it. It's far too naughty. Barrow! Oh that they were up there. Right, hold on, I'll put them there. Barrow! How many eighty four? really want this strand. I saw it this morning. I fell in love. Sarah, what do you think? Ooh, that's gorgeous. What a Beautiful. lovely mix of tones right across there. <gasps> love it. Mm, mm, aquamarine, morganite, beryl, green aquamarine, golden beryl. Love, love, love this strand. I love how strong it is. Prices on our barrel go up to $79.95 on the web for barrel. So there's a, a huge range of price points you could be looking for depending on what you want to, to get, what you want to achieve with your barrel look, what it is you actually require. Barrel wise for us, what do you reckon we could do for you today? We had some great aquamarine in your previous kit. Wouldn't that look beautiful? It would look amazing with it. With the, the final kit we've had with Sarah. Yeah. Is there only 40 minutes left in the show? Ah! Right, I need to be quick. I've got lots and lots to bring you and, and clearly not enough time to do it all. Multi-barrel, price points, what are you thinking? I have no idea where this is going, bear in mind. All I know is it's Friday, fr Thursday frenzy. And I know that Kimbo isn't going to be producing again till Friday next week, the 17th. So she's doing as much as she can to be a rebel to get it out of her system because she knows she can't do anything for a week and a day. Stop it! My addiction can't stand it! <laughs> Janet in Greater Manchester. Loving your work, Janet. <laughs> Just change the channel, Janet. Bless you. Don't change the channel. You can do it, Janet. It's only ever been seen once. On the morning. I'm not ready. You ready? My face is offensive, isn't it? <laughs> you you need to not look at me when you put price points in like that. That was just if you just tuned in for the first time, I sincerely apologize. Welcome to Julian Week. I usually have a smile on my face, but that <laughs> price is a shocker. Can we just stop everything? Just stop. Stop. That's it, Sean. Cross your arms. Just stop. Say that. Just stop. Have you folded? Are you stopped, Kim? Have you stopped, Tom? He has now. This is wrong. Uh, hi. Yes, that's my boss. Hi. I had nothing to do. With n nothing to do with the print. Are you serious? If you are not picking up the phone and dialing the free number, free from even mobile ease now, and calling me, you just missed out on one of the biggest, biggest natural treats Mother Nature can give us that we've managed to put ready and ready for you to win. Would you just look at them for not even £10? Even just just over just a penny, a few pennies over that to get it delivered to your house, with a thirty day money back guarantee. Is this a is this a joke? Of course it's going to sell like this. Eighty four. It's all it is, and it's eight pounds. Let's count. Are we do are we do it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A pound each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifty p each. Oh no. 
Well, if that's 50 pence for each one, then all of this is free. 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 50 pence each. Free. Should we count the entire strand, see how much we're looking at for an emerald, or an aquamarine, or a morganite, or a goshenite? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Just one of these in a ring. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One, thirty, two, four, six, eight, ten. Forty, two, four, six, eight, ten. Fifty, two, four, five. Fifty-five. How much is that? It's seven pounds and ninety-five pence each, Kimball. You, you, you face up to what you've just done. Yes, 55. It's seven pounds and 85 pence each. 14 pence! <laughs> I need a lie down. A lie down. I'm a train. Do you like that deal? You're going to love this one? I need a big lie down. <sighs> and I don't drink. I think I might need one. Stronger than a cup of tea. <laughs> Maybe like a cordial. Right. 240 carrots each one. Ametrine nuggets. Do you know what an ametrine is? Have you ever heard of ametrine before? Sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? Sounds like amethyst, but then also sounds like citrine. Oh, hold on, it's both. <laughs> As if you've got this. Amethyst and citrine, put them together, and what do you get? Ametrine. Color wise, what does it look like? Bit of amethyst, bit of citrine, together. Who put them there? Mother Nature, of course. She's a good one, isn't she? Now, there's two strands here. How big are they? Miss it, Miss Out, or dirty double. 240 carats at, or double trouble. 9 by 7 mil to 19 by 11 mil. Now, there are 74 in stock. If producer Kim hadn't offered you both of them, there would have been 148 in stock. But when you put it together, what do you get? Bibbidi bobbidi Kim drops a price. <laughs> I know that's not the traditional rhyme, but I hope you don't mind. I thought that was quite good. Bibbidi bobbidi Kim drops a price. No? You mean bibbidi bobbidi boo sounds better? Genuine Armatrine, Mother Nature created it. Where in the world? Where in the world? Ah, I know! Me, me, me! Me, me, me! Bolivia! Bolivia didn't guess that. It's a rubbish joke, wasn't it? I used to say it on the sister channel, and I used to try and say it, but it's rubbish. So, Armatrine is from Bolivia. Where? One mine in the whole world. It's the only commercial mine in the world. Remember the last time I talked about this? A young lady, I believe called Emma, managed to come in with the correct answer of the person who owned the mine in Bolivia. The Anahi mine, it's called. Mina Anahi, as they know it in Bolivia. And do you know who it was? They got it right, Emma. Do you know who she said found or owned the mine? Romero Rivera, you got it. Loving your work. I love that name as well. I extra specially love presenting Amatrine because it allows me to say it. Romero Rivera. Isn't that fun to say? Just Give it a go, Sarah. Romano. Romero Rivera. Rivera. Romero Rivera. That's one. Yeah. Nearly. <laughs> Romero Rivera. Do you want to see the Amatrine mine, the entrance? You think it's like a huge, big, amazing mine? This is the mine. It's like a hole in the grass. There it is. Pozo Rico, Mina Anahi. And in that hole, you find these in big, big geodes. Um, in fact, this is some examples of the raw crystals that you can get, that you find, um, that have been removed from the geode, as I was just mentioning there, waiting to be checked um, for their ametrine potential. Some of them might just turn out more amethysty hues, some of them might turn out more citrine hues, but when you get a bit of both, when two become one, as the Spice Girls would say, you get armatory. Boom, look at it there, being faceted. Lovely, what a dream gem. So we should be looking at each. No, it's not 14 for both. 
No, it's not. It's nine. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, I wouldn't even have thought you got that. But I thought one would be fourteen ninety-five. Definitely for amateur train. <laughs> Sissy in Oklahoma. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why did an extra wall? Sorry. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Next two. Got mine. Just beautiful. Sissy, I'm so pleased for you. So pleased. And lovely to see you. I know you were um, with us yesterday. Thank you very, very much. So great to see you. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Um, when I say yesterday, I think in the Wall of Fame, I think I read out one of your designs. If my memory serves me correctly, please accept my apologies if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Although I have been up at 5 a.m. the past two mornings, so my brain's a little bit like jelly. Um, 9 by 7 mil and it goes to 18 by 11, 19 by 11 mil and it's approaching half the stock already al allocated. Charles, and I hope I said that right in Middlesex because you gave me a lesson on it when you were here last. Lovely to see you. Very kindly taught me how to pronounce your name because I was calling you Charul and I believe it's Charul. Have I got it right? I've been practicing. Um, great to see you. Denise is in, Marlene's in, Jillian and Jan, Emma and Catherine's in, Mrs. Carol's in, Maureen's in, Stephanie's in, Denise is there, Lynn, Sandra, Maureen again, Margaret, Peter and Barbara, Leslie and Anne, Sylvia, Sheila, Carol, everybody's getting involved because it's only 9 95 It's probably one of the most affordable price points Amatrain has ever been. I'd have a look at our website and see what else you could be paying on our own website. I think we've beaten our own website pretty, pretty well there. 11 quarts. Oh, these are, lo what a combination. Two lemon quartz, is it? And a green agate. Mmm. Well, these are big nuggets for, oh, nice and cold. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, isn't it? Oh, this would match your outfit wonderfully. I know. Oh, they're lovely. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, they graduate and they get big and big and bigger. They go from 10 by 4 millimeter to 26 by 8 mil for one lemon quartz. The other lemon quartz is 10 by 3 to 24 by 7 millimeter. That's 270 carats. And then the final one is the green agate in the middle. 400 carats, 9 by 6 millimeter to 27 by 5 mil. Sorry, totally just noticed. One of our producers, Dan, noticed Lucy um, baby bump for the first time, literally at the window, and it was beautiful. It was really lovely. Sorry, I, got, I was literally watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right. In total, carry 200, 400, 800, and 920 carats, I believe, if my mass is correct. I hope it is. But in my defense, I've been up early. <laughs> 920, got it right. Hey, my dad will be so proud. Can we get a certificate? And yes, you can. You get an authenticity certificate with anything you get from us, uh, gemstone wise, and many of our metal wise, uh, precious metals too. Just check it out. Just talk to the contact center. It's free. Not only free from the landlines here in the UK, but it's also free from mobile phones in the UK. Well, not all of them. Check with your network provider, but I know if you're with O2, O800 numbers are free. What was that, sorry? Beauts. We had these earlier. What do you reckon? Two totally different looks. You could have just one of these with lots of the bigger nuggets in between. I like those. Oh, yeah? They're amazing. I just have one of those. It's a real statement pendant at the front. And then probably um, braid on, and have those added as like a macrame piece. So they actually stand up. There's the long tooths. Ooh. Like um, Wilma Flintstone. Yeah, but just a bit sort of spiky, a bit edgy. Well, I like that yeah, idea. Quite nice. Edgy Wilma. I love Wilma. Wilma! <gasps> I want to put it with the Chrysocolla. Look at that. What a perfect match. Or even maybe the uh, lemon citrine. Look at that. Wow. Wowza. Right, what can we do for you? What do you reckon? It is a little bit of a Friday, uh, Thursday clearance, a little bit of a Thursday frenzy. Ten ninety five is our normal price for each one individually. Can't be. I thought six pounds and ninety five pence is the lowest price we'll Oh, that's just where we were going to go. 
but we're now at 8.95. In my local gelato shop, I do like a good gelato, I didn't know what it was until the shop moved there, um, they sell gelato for about four or five pounds. Hi Debbie Bulford! <laughs> Debbie Bulford, Debbie Bulford, Debbie Bulford, we love you. It's like my new song, it's made it up. It's very rubbish, isn't it? But Debbie Bulford's awesome. Um, eight pounds and ninety-five pence. She was looking in the window. I think she might have been having a wee spy on this, was it? Is this what you were looking at? Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Love them. What a wonderful sort of. And it matches your blouse perfectly, Sarah. I know. It's they're just such springy colours, such zesty, lovely tones. They go with all sorts of different tones as well. If you've got the ametrine perfect if you've got the amethyst work with those as well what's the lapis lazuli we had earlier mm. what's with all of those beautifully if i could give these away i would give them to sarah right now because they match perfectly eight pounds and 95 pounds well technically i have just given it away because 8.95 for what you're getting i don't think is a lot 920 carats which i counted myself Whoa, do, 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 do. oh yes do, 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 do. i don't even know if that's a real tune but i like it oh this is amazing in its color. The pearls that you have here are delicious. If you missed one of the previous kits with them, the gorgeous Seda, most of them sold out, if not all sold out, then you would have missed these buttes, which are peacock pearls. I've got something for you similar here, or you could add to that kit if you did get it. This is a dream come true. Wait till I show you the class and sophistication Peacock pearls, five by four mil or four by five mil, in your rice beads, and then eight by seven mil for your half drilled peach uh, peacock cultured pearls with ten in a pack. What do you reckon? Are you ready? <laughs> WJGC59, what do you reckon? Greens, purples, wonderful, for 15 pounds. Is that each or is that together? all together you are having a kid on the strand on its own should be just 9.95 i think lucy distracted you that much that you've just gone haywire and i've just gone deaf 11 pounds and 95 i know that's nothing to joke about but that was real <laughs> 11 pounds and 95 pence so this on its own is normally $9.95. It's a great jewelry maker price. So these 10 pearls are what, two pounds? 50 pennies each? No, I'll weigh with you. There's 10 of them. Kimbo, 20 pence each. I just copy what Kimbo said. Clearly Kimbo did not do maths for very long, did you? You only just scraped your GCSE, I love you, Kim. <laughs> you still got it, though. Can you imagine, on my prelim, I nearly failed the non uh, the calculator part. That's a bit you should be able to do. <laughs> I did pass it, just. But remember the teacher was like, Ali, that was close. And they went, oh, right, but didn't I pass? And they went, yeah, but the non-calculator should have been easier than the, uh, the calculator should have been easier than the non-calculator. There we go. Right, fluid, where's the fluidite? Purple fluidite. Um, hello there. Oh, oh yeah, have a look here, what do you reckon? the pearls at the bottom of your screen these are all pearl drops half drilled together with your and very very collectible purple fluorite the gem that fluoresces 
Purple flu, I remember we couldn't even get it. How special is that? Really, really special. 410 carats, VT, PO, and then 07 for you. 12 millimeter in your size. And there's a stunning color. What a facet. Every single one looks totally different, don't they? I want to take these off and color graduate them all. Are you two having a show off? Kim's just explaining to producer Phil how many products she's scheduled and how many shows she's scheduled for. She's like, I've scheduled six shows this morning. I love that, Kim. Well, you've just had a show off with Phil. How many had Phil scheduled? None! You can't say that. You can't say he's lazy though, Kim. You can't say Phil's lazy. He's standing right there. Hi, Phil. He isn't listening. Oh, hi. Like your Hawaiian shirt today. Looks great. You do have about six on this is true. What was that? You convinced him to buy it the other day. Nine pounds is a good shirt. I like it. Anyway. Hi Alice and Harry, what are you up to? I wish you loved me. I love you more than words can imagine. Are you got me a cheese tart like? Thank you. Hello. Ah, I love them. I caramelized onion cheese tart. That's my favourite thing for the entire I love them. I haven't had one for so long. <gasps> I love you so much, Alison Terry, more than I loved you anyway. And I didn't even think that was possible. They are the best. And ladies, have you tried the caramel tart? The caramelized onion tart? Have you tried the tart? Have, you tr have they tried the tart? Yeah. It's really good, isn't it? Try the, try the tart. If there's any left now that Alison Terry's got me one. <laughs> um, <coughs> could you imagine? Oh, there's no left. Can we have yours? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Give my darling. They are amazing. If you ever come to the workshop, You've had them, haven't you, Sarah? I have. Caramelised onion tarts. Get yourself in there if they've got them. I oh, you haven't one. Love it. <laughs> 12 millimetre rounds, 410 carats of totally genuine purple variety of your fluorite. Love or love? I want that to go with them, well, pretty much most of today, but massively with these lemon, I don't know how you would do it, but with those whopper, whopping mountains. I think sometimes, you know, if, you, if you've got large gemstones, just go for a really over the top piece, you know, with lots of gemstones, lots of, you know, and just really wear it in a dramatic way. Yeah, Don't be shy of them, just go for it. Gonna do it, do it. Yeah. With the amethyst from earlier, is it? Well, there you go. Seven pounds and 95 pennies. And you've got amethyst there from earlier, which went to a not too dissimilar price actually. So you get the two together. What do you reckon? Oh, beautiful. Check it out as and when you can. You've just got yourself natural fluorites. They would look great with amethysts, with other fluorites, with ametrine. There's lots and lots of treats for you there. Love, love, love them. 38 centimetres approximately. And as a full necklace, you could just do that. <gasps> Lovely and cold. Fabulous. Righty, oh, whoops. What's it? Phil, don't you dare steal our show names. Next Tuesday, do you know you have a joint show with Alison and Sammy? <gasps> you just scheduled it. Twosome Tuesday. It's Try As Tuesday. Try As Out Tuesday. Box 15. It's Try As Tuesday, Phil. You just laughed and walked out of the studio. Fine. Whatever. This will match our S on cord bundle from earlier. Look. They have gone though, so sorry for showing you them, but they have. They were available. But how perfect would they match? with the greys 
with the whites in the middle. And the blues would work with the greys over there. And then, wouldn't that cord bundle work perfectly with these nuggets? I told you to keep watching. I said they were coming up. They look lovely together. Well, I think so. But they've, oh, see, they've all gone. So I'll take them away for now. I'm trying to remember where I got them from. What can I do for you? What do you reckon? With the drops and the eyelight? I had a, a lady message me the other day and say, oh, my breadstone's eyelight. I've not seen it before. What does it look like? Many people know it to have the most wonderful sort of water-like sapphire um, appearance, but I think it's a stunning gem in its own right, and it shouldn't always be compared to, to sapphire, which is a shame. But it has a lovely violet colour. It comes from ion, the Greek word for ion for violet flower. It's natural. It's lush. It's quite collectible. Not many people have eye light in their collection, but it's one that if they do have it, they're very, very proud to own it and very proud to show off. For example, executive producer Martha, she loves her eye light piece. So you've got drops in that, 75 carats. They go from 5 by 3 mil to 11 by 5 mil on a 37 centimeter strand. So plenty on there with spaces in between that you get to keep. And then on top of that, white moonstone, 8 by 7 mil to 15 by 5 mil, three, uh, 280 carats. And the sunstone in there as well, 4 by 5 to 12 by 4 mil, approximately 86 centimetres in that one, 230 carats. This one is coming in approximately 38 centimetres for your white moonstone. And then fellow family member with your sunstone. I think these are great. Let's see what we can do for you in your price point. Sun, moon and starry skies. Oh, $8.95. No, $9.95. I just said that wrong. Sorry, $9.95. Oh, what do you mean you're taking it lower, so don't worry? Is that because I got it wrong? No, because you were going lower anyway. All right, then. I don't even want to say that price. Eye light and a price of under ten pounds should not be seen, but it is. So I'll just accept it, get over it, and try not to cry over it like spilt milk. I this this is can't even comment on that. Two phenomenon stones and a natural eye light. Well, they're all natural, but one that nobody's um, easily getting. And you're getting them for less than what? Less than four pounds each? Less than three pounds each? Two pounds and 65 pence each. For, per strand, not the gemstones, just Love it. Right, sorry Kimbo, you told me about a turquoise. Oh, right, let's recap our turquoise. Mm. I can't believe we have any, like we had 550, but to be fair, with the amount of people who have it in baskets, it's sold out, but it's not because you haven't checked them out. So, let's get it gone. Let's get it on. Lots of you in there in uh, Northumberland, Cumbria, Somerset, North Yorkshire, Gloucestershire, Merseyside, Oregon, Berkshire. I've heard that um, traditionally in America, the connoisseurs of turquoise adore to get the pyrite flecks within that. That's exactly what you're getting. One of the first times I've ever presented it with the pyrite flecks in it, I think it looks beautiful totally natural turquoise it's more of the copper in your turquoise which is why you're getting more of the blues when you tend to get more of the greens you are looking at more iron in your turquoise from igneous rock generally is where you tend to get your turquoise from it the water tends to sort of fall down the rock and then get evaporated and then um, it turns into a catalyst to then allow this gemstone to crystallize and form and then on the outside of the rock, you tend to get a little bit more of a softer appearance. It tends to be a bit more chalk-like. Um, and the deeper you go, sort of 100 feet in, you're getting some of the strongest crystal structures that, that turquoise can offer. A gemstone named after its, well, actually originally named after the fact that originally in, the, in Europe, it used to be exported from um, Turkey to be able to get hold of it. So they called it the Turkish stone, which then became turquoise. Um, but turquoise is now actually, of course, our color. So it's the only gemstone in the Bristol calendar named after a colour, which is quite lovely. And it's its only member in its family. Oh, 
But if it's going to be the only one in the family, it's going to be a really special one, isn't it? Just shy of a hundred in baskets, and I don't have a hundred. Good luck. We had 550. How, oh, we couldn't put the quantity on right now, can we? Because we're recapping that. That wouldn't work. Lorraine's in, multi-bits are coming through, Marion's in, Mona, Mona's in, sorry, Nanette's in, having a great day. Um, I have more in basket than I have stock. I don't say that to rush you, I say it to help you. Did you get Christ call earlier? Imagine that together. Price, oh yeah, gosh, I didn't even tell you the price, did I? Oh, the price went so low. It's like, give it away, give it away, give it away now. We haven't got any other turquoise in the building, it's natural, it's a little maker. Whether we get any more coming in, well, that's something you'd have to hope for. But for £10, who, who tuned in today, other than those of you who are on Facebook and Twitter, be honest with yourself, did you tune in today thinking, I'll be able to get turquoise for less than £10? Easy. No. Would you have thought that coming into work today, Sarah, no. that you would have had turquoise on the show and that it would have been as affordable as £10? Definitely not. Definitely not. Not natural turquoise. Possibly, you know, if it had been a reconstituted, yes. Um, or turquoise coloured something. Magnesite, maybe? Yeah, but not natural turquoise, no way. Not at all. It's amazing. I love the fact that I work here because I get to play with all these beautiful gemstones and the people get to get them home and play with them at amazing prices. And it's been your challenge as well. Yeah. How many guest designers get turquoise as a challenge? Natural <laughs> turquoise? It's not much of a challenge great fun <laughs> <laughs> love it love having you with us Sarah um, lots lots of multi bids if you don't check it out then then that's no problem but um, next time turquoise is on and it's say 140 pounds like it was the other day or but it's totally different though that was warranted at its price more than warranted it was faceted drops that were crammed on it was an amazing strand don't get me wrong but when you next see turquoise and it's not as low in price as this and you think, oh, I wish I'd grab that, please don't message me and say, Ali, if I've got any more, because the answer will be, unfortunately, no. And I'll say, oh, if only you checked it out, because you would have had 30 days to think about it, see what else is coming in, see if you see any turquoise in the next 30 days. If you change your mind, change your mind. If you're happy with the price, go for it. If you're not happy, send it back. Sarah and I will be waiting. <laughs> now, we had on today, Pearls, and rubies. Now we had 45 ruby cabochon treats. They're natural rubies and there are two left from 45. There's 22 in baskets and there are two opportunities left. With the turquoise, it looks amazing. Oh, sorry. It's not the only one you get at that price point. You get 115 carats worth for natural rubies. If you just tuned in, I'm quite sure you would more than happily pay 60 pounds for one ruby cabochon of that quality. That's totally natural. But you don't need to, because you're getting at least, I reckon, probably about 10. That has 11 there, but I imagine about 10. Right. Have we any left? 25 left. Right, let's do it. You saw Alison Terry's reaction to it. If you hadn't seen it already, this is our abalone. This is brand new today. We had to, bless um, Amelia, I had to get her to rush and take a picture of these so we could put them on the website so you could see. These are your brand new abalones. They're mosaics. Many of you will have seen our Neff Terry collection on a sister channel where you had mosaic abalone with genuine triple A and above tanzanite and diamonds and 14 karat or above gold. And they were all over three figures. That was the Neff Tarry collection. That's how special abalone is to us. Yeah, I've got three pendants here at all the same size, 30 by 20. Guarantee you get three pendants for £10, £9.95. Pence. Wrong or wrong? How would you feel owning... This is my dream combination for today. With the Chrysocolla. Turquoise with emeralds interspersed in between. With an abalone pendant. And then the odd chrysocolla at the top. That's my dream today. So, chrysocolla. 
the only option we've got for sort of comparison on our sister's site, on a gem collector, is the, the two three carat individual stones. So there's two individual stones on gem collector. One is three carats, I think 14 points. It's an 80 pounds piece for one, one stone. And the other one is a 3.5 carat stone at 126 pounds and 74 pence. Now that may have changed since last night at 10.30. It may have um, sold out, may not be there. But I would always advise you to have a look on Gem Collector, type in Christ Collar and see what we have. We have nothing else on the Jewel and Maker website. It is so similar in your colours to that of what you would expect from a mixture. So the neon appetites, turquoise, uh, all combined together with a little bit of a, heat, uh, a matrix of the sort of the, the black veins that you get in Zambian emeralds. Really lovely look. And for one huge 200 carat strand, with about 12 stones if my memory serves me correctly, Faceted wonderfully, we're looking for $17.95. Wonderful treat. Have a look at the luster on these. Look at the way these have been faceted, giving you the look of a laser cut. Wow. Wow. Love or love? Imagine one of those as a ring. Woo, and quickly jamming on your Vesuvian night to make sure we do it. From Mount Vesuvius, you may know it as I decrees. However you know it, grab it. Gorgeous or gorgeous, what do you reckon to this? So, you've got I decrees. 5 by 4 mil to 8 by 6 mil and a 19 centimeter strand. Gemstone that when you look at it, you might see hues of peridot. I think you definitely do today. Some you might see a resemblance to green tourmaline. Others you might see a resemblance to green garnets. It's a stunning gem. You might have seen it in um, maybe browns or blues, maybe sometimes in yellow. Very, very rarely in purple. It's a beautiful gem, Vesuvianite, as I say. First discovered in Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which is where its original name was, but you might know it as Ida Craze, which is... Um, relating to the mixture of colours, the idea for likeness and the likeness of mixture of colours that you get, the fact that it's so similar to hues that you might see in peridot or, or green tourmaline or even that of a green garnet. It's a beautiful gem, it's a rare gem, it's very, very collectible uh, and you can get some transparent and you can get some actually translucent varieties. So transparent means you can see through it, uh, if you don't already know this please forgive me if you do, and transparent, um, um, translucent means you can see through it uh, and it's very, very clean to the eye. So, are you ready for $24.95? Let me give you a, an example. If you have a look, forgive me because I've doodled all over a book. But if I show you very, very quickly, at the, um, the top of this book, there's a picture of an Ida Craze gem in a ring. Forgive me, I like highlighting books. <laughs> My book, so I'm allowed. For £24 and 95 pence, if you've just managed to grab yourself a Vesuvianite, I want to pat you on the back and congratulate you. It's not going to be for everybody because not everybody wants something out there and rare and collectible uh, that's sort of maybe not heard of. I appreciate you might want to have gemstones like amethyst, um, maybe gemstones that you, you'll know. And I guess you won't have to explain to, to offer to people because instantly recognisable. Um, many of you will know we had the most wonderful turquoise. I'm just going to grab it quickly. <laughs> um, the fact that it's got pyrite in it blows me away. It's made my day, actually. It's the first time I've ever had the, the chance to present it. Many of you will know that I've had the wonderful Sarah with me today. And Sarah, thank you so much for everything you, you've done with us today. The, oh, gosh, you've made lots. <laughs> <laughs> when did you make all this? I'm busy beaming away over here. <laughs> did you have this yesterday? No. Come on now. No, really? No, no, no. Wow. Gosh, you made such a mix of working with gold, working with ribbon, knitted ribbon, working with chain, working with the tassels. Yeah, it just mix it all up. The turquoise goes with just about everything. Doesn't it? Yeah, mm. it does. Oh, I love it. So if you hadn't already got some inspiration of what you wanted to do with your turquoise, I'm quite sure you do now. Maybe it would be a wire bangle, maybe it would be a, a chain layered necklace, with some wire work pieces in there or whether you wanted to have it with the, the chains and the tassels from the other day. I've got these tassels at home and earrings. Yeah, they're really versatile and tassels are everywhere at the moment. They are, so, aren't they? Um, you know, you just, just, you know, 
incorporate them into all of your jewellery in lots of different ways. I just think that's just such an easy piece to wear. And all of those pieces you can be removed, so you can take the tassels off and just wear the turquoise and the pearls together. You put the tassels back on on their own. They're all interchangeable, so... Makes it even more exciting, doesn't yeah. it? And getting those nuggets, and they are big nuggets. You don't need that a lot to make yourself a, a, no. a big looking piece, do no, you? No, I mean, I've still got some left over, so I could still be making even more pieces with it. So I've got some in, some in the tray there. As um, you do. With the, all the extra bits and pieces, there's all hiding underneath there. So I just heard Kim scream. I've got almost less than more than a hundred in baskets. <laughs> You're right in there, Kim. <laughs> Hyperventilating. Oh dear. Um, how many have I got left? Okay, I don't have enough. Um, if you have it in your basket, check it out. If you just want to have one, I still don't have enough. If you multi bid, then there's nowhere near enough. So 0800 644 a free phone number from UK Landline and certain mobile phones now as well. Many mobile providers have just changed their, their uh, what's it called? Regulations. That's the one. Um, they've changed their calling rates, so do always check with your provider as well before you do do call us. And jewelrymaker.com is a website where you can check it out. Add your order, order all day. I know you will be because you've got the wonderful Sarah. Um, well, Sarah's been with us all day. Sorry, when, when are you back? Sunday. Late Sunday. show. Oh, yes. perfect. You can watch Sarah on the late show on Sunday. Make sure you don't miss that. But coming up later, um, in fact, only a few minutes, you can have the wonderful Laura binding. I've not seen her for so long. I want to give her a big squeeze. Um, and Lucy, oh gosh, I love that top. Yeah. Oh my word, she's gorgeous. She's getting ready to put a wee bit of lippy on just for you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Lucy's coming up on the other side with Laura binding. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you on Monday, uh, I think, with Angela. Take care. Bye. <laughs> tonight is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world, Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colours can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colours are blue, pinkish violet and yellow.